are here today to throw down on the field of Jigsaw. Oh yeah. Welcome uh, to CTS. Thought we were playing co-op? We're gonna throw down our skills. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. throwing all the pieces down and then we're yeah. gonna organize them nicely. <laughs> or we're yeah, we're throwing down the pieces, I love it. We're just throwing down the pieces. We're gonna throw but, some bones. Not each other. Well, you're too far away. Yeah. Hanging together today, we've got Nelson, Heather, <laughs> Matt, Woo. Corey, and the voice of Paul. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Who can't wait for the next party in real life. <laughs> but yeah, you heard it here, folks. We're going to be doing some cooperative jigsaw puzzles. Uh... Through the magic of you, the viewer who gifted us money on Patreon, we we have this ability. Yay! Thank you for that. All you who gift a, or gift each other subs, I guess, but give us subs and bits will be thanked at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, so prepare for the noises this game will make. We are playing puzzle with your friends. And it's got some bangers. Yeah. It's a bit puzzling, I suppose. Yeah. It does suck that they only have one puzzle, though. They don't. They, there's it's 35 there's, puzzles. There's, there's, there's more than one. Oh. We're not going to be doing some of the puzzles, because I don't want to look at cat boobs that long. <laughs> <laughs> so. And you're uh, alone in that. Yeah. Fine! <laughs> I'll There's also a big board. sword in that puzzle, yeah. <laughs> I'll work on the sword bit. You can work on the cat girl. <laughs> yeah, just do the whole right. puzzle with, like, a big hole in the middle of it. All mm. right. Uh, Paul, take us to the game so that chat may face their eyes upon the glory. Ooh. The glory of puzzle with Behold. your friends. Behold, we are all here. Already we're Together. cheating because we're looking at the image of the completed I... puzzle. Yes. Sorry, how do you do puzzles at home? Um, well, not anymore. I don't have enough surfaces, but when I was a kid, I would never look at the image after I poured out the box. Hmm. Hard no, mode. Really. That's oh. hard cool. Yeah. You weren't one of those. Were you... Did you do puzzles that were, like, uh, all one color? Oh, I did one of those. Uh, it was called Snow White Without the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> That's helping. actually a pretty awesome name. Yeah, it was literally just a white circle. It uh, it took some time. We've completed the URL of the video game this is an advert for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, uh, a fairly large number of the images that are in this game uh, seem to be like the splash Im ad images for video games. For whatever reason. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine That's with right. it. It's, um, cooperative uh, advertising. You know, help, help each other out, right? Trying to find some edge pieces. Yeah, I'm not, I don't wish this thing wouldn't Okay, I'm just gonna move the chat off the screen and move a Yeah, bunch someone's of these been hiding away. pieces behind where the chat and such goes. Oh, tricky. Someone? Tricky. Someone? Oh, I'm sorry. Are we supposed to have the chat out? These hearts are. Hearts are uh, how are you supposed to see my jokes? Oh, my goodness. I thought you I'm, were just gonna make them vocally. I'm oh. playing on a whole new level now. Here, I'll get. That was tef definitely me. I'll take ownership for my mistakes, mm. Corey. Takes a big man. I, I'm the part of the floating ready run that admits when they're wrong. Everybody has a role. <laughs> I'm is the that, Is that on your business card? Yeah. Ev everybody nice. has a role. And I spell it with two L's because I mean dice. I mean, you've been here for what, like a decade and you have business cards? <laughs> oh, I get business cards. I have, everyone has business cards for the purpose of the joke. Oh, you know that I, I have don't, business cards now. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a business card though. Has anyone ever had a business card in this conversation? Have you had a job that required you to have a business card? I mean, well, tell us. Has. Paul, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I all of my business cards I made. 
for myself, which I don't know if that counts. <laughs> Definitely counts. <laughs> totally counts. Counts double. Yeah, I had I made my own business cards. My bosses tallies. always gave me their own business cards to hand out at events. Oh, like I mean that I've gotten from work. Legit. I'm just thinking like, um, sir, I know what your business is already. I don't need a card. I don't want to know the bed. Me neither, buddy. Yeah, Who I does? don't blame them. Nobody Have you does, seen either. bed? It's just so flat. <laughs> don't like flat things. Oh, it's so 2D. Like, you see all this 3D space. Yeah, you need to develop the character of bed. Is the are the are the pieces rotate? Like, do you rotate the pieces, or are they all nope. in the right no, orientation they are already? All They're... correct. Ah. It is surprising how much more difficult rotating pieces make online puzzles. Actually, I do kind of miss picking them up and touching them. Yeah, I uh, I was an inside kid growing up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like a cat, but a person. <laughs> yeah, um, and I did a lot of a lot of puzzles growing up. Like there was, I think, a twelve hundred piece three D puzzle I did. One of the last ones Ooh, oh, nice. I ever got, actually, of New York. Wow. What, would, uh, what makes it? A, how is it a three D? Like it was like it's made of oh. foam. Yeah, so like 3D puzzles are really cool. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah, My they, mom used to collect those. They stand up and uh, they're actually easier in a way because the 3D-ness of them breaks it up into a bunch of smaller bits that you then shove together. My, uh... <clears throat> My housemate, when I was uh, in college, she did a thing where she had the built, made a huge, you know, did a whole puzzle that was quite a large puzzle. Um, and then she did the thing where she, she got like, uh, it was just like white, like watered down white glue and painted all oh, over the whole yeah. thing, which mm, basically like okay. lock, locks it together and then turns it into like a wall hanging. It's kind of a cool way of doing it. It's a piece of art. So you're saying your roommate in college was 80. <laughs> wow. I mean, but that's awesome. She didn't look that, but who knows? She was an old soul. Oh. Yeah, that does go over on the left. It just... Oh, it just wasn't... Yeah. Making the weird smacking noise. Come I kind of right. wish this game had a little bit more of a tactile... Uh, snap. Feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I want. I want my mouse to have a haptic like the iPhone. Or oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if there are like iPad apps that have like a little like feel like a bumpy thing when you connect with the other piece. That would be neat. Probably. You just have to enable Rumble. All right. Where's yeah, the Yeah. Wait. Last... Does this game there have like last edge? Support? Where's the last Boom! edge? There we go. Oh, Wait, the top more. piece. There's top top piece edge. Missing. There's a top edge missing. I will find it. Where are you? It's a race to find the last oh, edge. Oh, found it. Yeah, Way to go, there Heather. It goes. Congratulations. They're hard to see That's right. when they're like That's all right. jumbled in the... Come on, get in there. All right, all right, Adelius 3. None of us know. It's your it's your job to hit the App Store and find out if there's a puzzle game. There, yeah. There almost certainly are puzzle games. Probably not this particular game. Which is uh, called Puzzle with Your Friends. Your friends. Yeah. Yeah, your friends. Don't, Not my don't friends, try to make friends. friends puzzling. You already you have to bring the friends. You have to bring your friends and not They have to be else's your friends. friends. That's right. Yeah. You can't have new friends. You can't have anyone else's this friends. This game will it's not only, let you play together if you are not Only friends. puzzles with your friends. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. Power struggle. What's happening there? Well, I mean, I was I'd... interacting with it, and then suddenly got taken, so I was like, fine. And then I think they were fighting for it, but I wasn't, I wasn't touching it. That I just want to know how you can move six pieces job. at once. Yeah. Oh, they're all connected. Everything's connected. It's the circle of That's life. True. That's what the avatar <laughs> taught me. Yeah. I want this one to go here, but I won't. That's the other thing, right? You can't have that thing where you're like, oh, I think this puzzle piece 
fits. Let me just kind of smush it in. Let me just force it. <laughs> force it. Oh, I did yeah. this. Okay. I'm glad it doesn't allow that, actually, now that you mention it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you mm-hmm. imagine trying to pull this thing apart? Oh, I see Does one anyone mind if I do this? Is that okay? Whoa! Yeah. Oh, because well, the top, it wasn't actually attached to anything. I just got these these free floating ones in the middle are starting to get in the way now. I feel like with uh, you know like tabletop simulator or something where it's actually like has a physics simulation in it, you could you know have a thing where you just shove it in. It's like yes, it fits. Yes, it fits. Yeah. Please, so like my kids can play it. Select Jelly hammer puzzles. Select hammer tool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We all need a little hammer tool every now and then. Yeah, some kind of zoom meow, piece meow. would be would be nice. Just so that when you click that button, it makes me feel more. like this. Oh. I like the the three the three fundamental emotions that you wish you that you ever need to express while doing a puzzle: angry cat, sad cat, cat with a heart. Yeah. Yep. That's what chat boils down to. Oh, yeah. That's all you really need. This puzzle and one other, I did ahead of time to just test out the game. What? Sure it worked. Oh, cheats. What? You've seen this puzzle before? Advanced one, yes. I only played one, but it was not this one. So, um, gr- so Matt G, you're telling us that you yourself are in fact OP. Like you, uh, we need to we need to point you, or we, there needs to be a handicap of some kind. Well, I'm I'm the goat, you know, the greatest of all time. It's true, you are a goat man. It, it was hey, interesting goat. looking up goat. Is it trying to find images of goats and then finding out? Oh, that's actually a turn of phrase. <laughs> <laughs> That's the order I learned that in. Fair. You were like, what? Why? Why do people co- people keep calling these uh, sports stars goats? Oh I yeah, understand. Do they don't even look anything like a goat. Men? Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at they don't know. They don't look at these sports paid. people walking on two legs, pretending to be goats and things. Yeah. Have it? Yeah. Weird. It's really James. fun how puzzles get really really easy at the end, eh? I like that well, part. It's hard when you're reaching for a piece and then it just zoops away. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop clicking. I'm good. I've had enough satisfaction. Everyone <laughs> no, else can no. finish it. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you kill still my puzzle piece. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm apologizing. <laughs> okay, next time I call jungle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will stay in top lane, okay? I'm fine to stay in top lane. Keep moving pieces until you. Uh, boom. Okay, wow. only 42 minutes for that one. Hooray! Yay! We did Chibos. it, Sam. You know so what's really Chibos. great? <laughs> I just leveled up. <laughs> so did I! Did everyone else level up? Yep. Yeah. Cool, I guess we're ready to uh, fight some monsters now. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, please. Oh, Give me a puzzle game where I fight monsters. All right. So, monsters. Wait, who, who did the final piece there? Oh. We I all did. did. Well, I was cleaning up the stuff in the background that was still loose. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've selected mm-hmm. a new puzzle has monsters in it for you to fight. Uh, let me know if you need my help getting think, into the game. I think you need to reinvite. Okay, I don't think the Steam overlay will show up. Yeah, it's good. It's not captured. All right. Invite. Invite. Are we friends, Matt? Yes. <laughs> Excellent question. <laughs> I hope so, because otherwise how are you going to play puzzles? I joined the game. I don't need your help. Oh, rude. So, friend me at ease with your puzzles. Wait, 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 where is, where is this picture taking place? It's uh, like, uh, it looks like it's, a uh, it's the game. Boulevard of Broken Dreams, right? Yeah. That old chestnut. Yep. A slime and a fox walk into a bar. These go together, don't they? (laughs) I'm not wrong, am I? Tell me more about this slime walking. Yeah, I want to know about this slime with legs. How many gastropods does it have? 
Look at the, the way the slime is looking at the fox. It loves that fox. Like yeah, that it other- those noodles. Like that green, you know, humanoid behind the slime is like eyeing this fox up and down like, don't you, don't you treat this slime poorly. T you gotta take care of the slime, foxy guy. They're boyfriends and they're in love. Okay, okay. that's allowed. But, you know, they're at a restaurant together and they're not sitting in a booth, so I feel like they just met. What do you mean, that's allowed? <laughs> <laughs> we'll allow it. Uh, the judge has has allowed it. I okay. have declared it's okay to be in love, alright? Alright? Is that okay with you? Sometimes there's non-love zones. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like they're just jealous. You I know, mean, like an anti-Valentine Day party. Yeah. yeah, like Groundhog Day. Oh, you gotta what? Be yeah. You gotta hog all the ground, meaning no one can, no one else can have any. Is Groundhog Day the anti-Valentines? Yeah, it warms you up that's, for Valentine's Day. That's, that's why they're in the same month. Yeah, why well, it happens just before. That's why we like love so much. That's funny because without intending to, my wedding anniversary is Groundhog Day. Did, did oh, wow. you not yeah. pick the date? Though, like, what do we you mean not the, intending to? Not intending to. We picked the day because it was a palindrome. Oh, that, that's cute. Does that mean you you have to check when you see your shadow during your wedding or something? Yeah. Yeah, if you see As your shadow, tradition. then the wedding's gonna take six more weeks. Yeah. yeah. Which one of you is the punk Satani? The what? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm lost. What is on the that one? Captain not America helping? understood that reference. Yeah. Oh, he would. It's old. Yeah. <laughs> that joke has also been frozen in the ice for 70 years. Oh. Yeah. Punxsutawney fills the, the rodent thing that the Groundhog from the movie fills? Gra from the movie Groundhog a... Day. From the movie Groundhog Day, with starring Bill Murray. And, oh, what's her name? Ah. Help me out, chat. I don't remember. Who is, is she? Is Julia Dreyfus right? Is it? Julia Louise Dreyfus? Is that who's in Groundhog Day? Chat. No. Who's Chat. in that movie? Andy McDowell! Oh. Thank you. And, oh yeah, and Chris Elliott is a powerhouse in it, yeah, too. Ju Julia Louise Dreyfus, that, it's just out Elaine. It's not Gina Davis. I, it's I know better Gina Elaine, Davis, <laughs> Andy McDowell. <laughs> Superior Are you maligning, Gina Davis. Are you maligning Gina Davis? I'm just putting her in her rightful place, which is second to Andy McDowell. Whoa! That's my stance. That's my power rank on female leads from the 90s. Because there are only two. There's just the two of them, actually. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. Hollywood's not that big, okay? Hollywood's also not that nice. Yep, it's yeah. true. <laughs> Nicer than me, though. I only had room for... for two. I don't know. Nicer than I was to Gene Davis, that's for sure. This puzzle's actually kind of hard. Um, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe because he hasn't done it before. Yeah. Oh! Ho, ho. I've got this bicep right here. Um, I, yeah. I like it's definitely whoever, a bicep. Whoever drew this picture originally was like, I want, I want there to be a slime, but I want it to be like a sexy slime. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is Paul. that what, is that the vibe you're getting, Paul? Paul. Let's, let's make the slime <laughs> have lipstick and eyeshadow. <laughs> Paul, how did it put on the lipstick and eyeshadow? If you it think has this, friends. If you think this is someone doing a sexy slime, <laughs> I, I know, I, I. I, I, I know there are sexier slimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't need a slime sexy power rating. What, okay? dude? Oh, ha, um, I, I, I have I questions. Disagree. I have questions, Paul. Yeah. My first one is how do we know there's a sexier slime? Look, I I have had discussions um, with Beige. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. I knew this about, is where that was going. About animes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe it. From those, I have checks out so far. Believe that that slime sexiness is a scale. Okay. <laughs> that, has, that has a surprisingly large number of increments in it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> 
be this. Is this right? This is, this is part of the bartender. This is wrong. Okay. That's the bartender's face. It should go near his arm. Yes. Yes! Hooray! My face is also near my arm. How about that? <laughs> oh. I mean, relatively. Oh! Fat bird body! Yes! Is the bird complete? The barb is complete! I have this rat face that's like watching contentedly, and I can't figure it out. It goes on the left. Yeah, but which part of the left? Right there. Oh, right, right there. there. Right oh, there. yeah. Right there. Okay, there was an edge piece that was in the wrong spot. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, somebody else just kill stole me. I'm not gonna name names, Corey. You're but... welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I accidentally moved a piece next to each other and then they connected. Yeah. No, that's not true. All right. So now I immediately am. I, I really want to play a like Banjo Kazooie style game that's just the slime and his bird friend. It's like sli slime and bird. Except he keeps the bird inside of himself and then ejects it moistly to <laughs> latch onto things or fly. Sorry, ejects it moistly. Yeah. There was a lot in that last sentence that I take issue with. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure where to start. Look, he's not wearing a backpack. This channel. That sexy slime is not wearing a backpack. You can't pen your kazooie without a backpack. No, the, the bird can just be sitting on the slime's head. <laughs> okay, hey, I, I I think I've been playing this game at like a B level so far, but I just now realized there is a little bit of a tactile response because if you set it in almost the perfect spot, you don't get those little gold... Yeah, you know, shim yeah. Shimmers. I just it's don't a... think it's it's the it's it's got that snap I really want. Yeah, no, I agree, yeah. I agree. But it's something you can at least wait for the shimmers to know that your piece is perfect. Yeah, you want that crunch. Yeah, we want more. Yeah, like I kind of just want the 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 click of a Joy-Con attaching. Mm, yeah, you know I been disappointed by that myself lately. I don't have enough of the click on a Joy-Con. Hmm. Does anyone else's Joy-Cons just, like, come apart while they're playing Yoshi's Crafted World? It, it happens to everyone like, once okay. in a while. Like, it know? just disintegrates and your hands come up apart, or...? No, like, the, or... just the pieces slide off. Is it only Crafted No, they, it's just they, me. They, they shouldn't, just they me. should not just slide off. Hmm. Uh... Okay. That might maybe, be a, an actual issue. Maybe my, ah, my clicky bits Found are it. wrong. Ah, 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 ah. I was looking for the bowl. That, you enjoyed that far too much. <laughs> I, this isn't the kind of stream I thought it was going to be. Okay, I'm having so fun, like, but I'm also like scared. A sniper, you have to like identify the hole you're trying to fill, and then find the piece that goes there. Snipers just, like, usually make holes; they don't yeah. fill them. You and I have a different idea about snipers. <laughs> <laughs> Unless sniper is like a cool code for a certain kind of person at the bar. I mean, I hope not. Like a sniper at the bar just, like, cuts in front of you to talk to the bartender. Fair. There's... Uh, so th we've got a slime and a bird. Thanks, and Sarah. A fox. I guess. And a couple of rats a in the side. A lizard and whatever the snake lady is in the back. Is this guy with the big mustache a lizard? Is that... Uh, I think he's an orc or a goblin, maybe, right? Maybe a kind of reptile-ish... Thing. I, I wouldn't say lizard. Oh, wait. I thought he was a troll they... for a sec, but then he doesn't have a shell. I do like the guy with the pompadour. Yeah, the He's bartender? Me. Swole. Yeah. We need to build that pompadour. Oh, yeah. If you see that pompadour, it starts It's so shiny. Down. I don't know where it is. Oh, I found the end of it. Well, there you go. Yeah. Like a sniper. <laughs> 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 okay, Call so... Call me Flame Sniper! So, we've figured out we're gonna say Sniper a lot during tonight's stream. That's good. I found an eyeball. Oh, well... The Who wants eyes? almost complete. Who needs eyes? Who wants eyes? Do, do, want, do you want an eye, Foxy? Here you go. Everyone does! You can you have this eye, eye if you want. You get an eye. Yeah. Do you want another eye? Oh, it's this thing's. We haven't built its face at all yet. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's somewhere in here. It's all these random, like, little tufts of hair everywhere hair? and Is slime right? and. Yeah. Well, no, that couldn't be right. Harsh oh, so you light. own a, a cat, too? I feel like there shouldn't be too much slime around. The slime you is think. mostly finished. You would think. 
<laughs> yeah, you would no. think, really. No, we found it. We figured out whose eye it was. The sounds of, like, picking up a puzzle piece and putting a puzzle piece down, while I appreciate there are sounds, the sounds are so wrong. Right? <laughs> Mm. There's such wrong sounds, like... There needs to be it's like, like a, a scrape on concrete. Like, mm. I, I, I don't know if they could be more wrong. Like, they might as well be, like, weird sci-fi laser sounds. Like, I'd rather they just be a cat meowing or something than... Yeah, be, that like, would be really fine. really wrong than, than the weird yeah, slight wrong. that would be less unsettling a to good, the, like, weird scrape yeah. sounds, yeah. A good, like, bassy thunk when you put it yeah. in. When you put your, uh, the, the, the piece in the right spot. Be nice. Oh, you're so close. You're so close. Yeah! Just the sound of someone dropping a concrete block. I just, honestly, yeah. I just want the sounds of books opening and closing when I pick up these similar paper products. Oh, yeah, I can Ooh. do that. I just want books closing all the time every time I touch a piece. But, it's like, really, like... really muted. You know, not a big book close. Wish the tolerances on this weren't, like, as tight as they were for the pieces sliding in together. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it is fairly sensitive. So you wish it did it for you? A little? Just like, I get close enough, I, it feels like I have to get really close. Even though I know I'm right. Oh! Haha! -ha! Yes! Pompadour complete. Nice work. Now we just gotta find this thing's face. Like yeah, it's... that's been really hard. There, I did it. That's correct. Right there. <laughs> I feel like there's a real story going on in this bar. Why does this a guy real have story? a giant, giant pompadour? What, what's, what's the uh, slime and the fox doing? I mean... On a date. Why are the rats here? I don't know, there's just all sorts of interesting folk going about their business. I feel like there's just a lot of stories happening that, that, right that now. This might be his hair choice. There might not be anything interesting behind why he's got a pompadour. Okay, we can't click off it for a second. We gotta answer some questions. Like First what? question. We leveled up again, hooray! First yep. question, how do we get hair like this bartender? <laughs> I think you have to use uh, wax. Okay. Wax. I think, I don't know if I have a long enough hair to quite go. Just give me a second. I'm gonna have to take my headphones off. Just have you ever seen the um, oh, maybe. Lemon Grand Cowboys? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a band? Yeah, yeah. they totally oh. have that, that, that hair. Okay. Well, just more, they usually do like a pointy thing, which I think is easier with, uh, with the hair. What kind of bug is she? Is she like a grasshopper or something? Perfect. No, she's a spider. Look at those legs. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. body. They go all the way up. Look, girl, look at that body. <laughs> she's obviously a spider. And then we got three rats and another little rodent that's not a rat, but is like something else. Or is this another rat? Let's do this one. This one looks like Ooh. us. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> all right. Okay, tell me if you managed to get to it without another invite. Oh no, you just have to do the invite every single time. Okay. Except for so. Matt, which I don't need to invite, but... It's because I'm a power gamer and I know what to do. Wow. Oh really? You a power gamer, are you? Name yeah. five of the power gamer bands. Um, yeah, what's their latest album? They they haven't taken... They haven't recorded one yet because they're... Uh, they're having some quiet time, like we all are this year. Yes, that's what we call it, quiet time. Yeah. Too busy gaming. <laughs> quiet 19. The anime of the season, after all. What is this music? No. I'm kind of hoping the guy is actually the thing that's on the computer screen is this game. It looks doesn't like look like it. Trees. That would be amazing, though. It does look like a point and click, it's yeah. like a text adventure, yeah, kind of thing. It looks like. Imagine it is... if it was just like Stardew Valley. <laughs> Do we have any of those streams? I'd I'd play uh. Stardew. What's it? Like uh. I keep wanting to say Kingdom Hearts, but something else with King in the name. King's Quest. I'd play King's Quest for Loading Ready Run. That'd be fun. <laughs> I, I Monkey did, Island. 
Yeah. I did a series of uh, pre-recorded, not not streamed, but pre-recorded videos where I played all the Space Quest games. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. That was that brutal. Was, yeah, that, that was fun. Uh, but King's Quest is 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 nasty, though. Like, at least with, yeah. At least with Space Quest, it's like it can be very obscure, but at least there's like some logic behind things. They can't just be like, it's because it's magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why does doing yeah. this do it? Magic happened. I mean, Space you just Quest... had to know to stomp the ground here. Yeah. Space yeah. Quest does dumb stuff, but you spent too much time in this room, so now you're dead. Yeah, map board games thinking or saying exactly what uh, what I've been thinking is just like how much do we have to pay um, to get different music? Yeah, just well, it's specifically BGC. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I could just play. Yeah, I mean, we've already we've already <laughs> paid it, I guess. Yeah, we could just put the BGC back on. But it's it's weird that it's like cool, lose our cool in-game uh, sound effects. Here, I can turn the, the music off. Yeah, it's it's weird to me that the music is like the exact same vein as Big Giant Circles, and even though I've like heard it's all exactly of our the same, <laughs> it's the vein, no, the same genre. It's not the same music, but it bow, is like bow, bow, bow. well, no, it's trying to be like banging chip tunes though, right? That's a I... genre, right? <laughs> banging chip tunes. You know what? I'm getting laughs. I'm fine with it. I. I don't mind I, that they're at my expense this time. This is what this is what Puzzle Stream is about. Yeah. I'm just I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't pay that much attention to music. Oh, um, yeah. okay. So well, I'm excited about this idea of a up. genre called that has the word banging in it. Well, <laughs> pay attention to some loading ready run streams. You're gonna hear them all the time. <laughs> Before every single one, there's like two sweet banging chip tunes in a row. Sometimes three when we don't have our shit together. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. More than oh, once a week. Uh, yeah. There's three. Hey, sometimes it's not our fault. Sometimes technology uh -huh. just doesn't want to play nice. Wrong, Matt. Sure. It's always not our fault. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. never been our fault <laughs> once. Never once. <laughs> We've never done a crime in our life. That's right. Uh, we not we that couldn't we'll even spell the word crime. In the history yeah. of crimes, none were greater than <laughs> our lies. <sighs> hey, I found an edge. Oh, Did you yeah. find the bottom? Is that the last I'm one? I found the last edge, though. Oh, oh no, it's not no. the last edge. Nel Nelson, you always had an edge. Oh, I'll take it. Ah, there we go. The border is complete. Hooray! Now nothing can come in from the outside. Yeah. So this, this computer monitor is almost done too. So this appears uh, to be an, an anime called Game Dev Days, perhaps. It's uh, an or, anime, oh, okay. and not or, a game. Or an ad for a game, or for a, or maybe it's maybe it's like a visual novel or something. Do you, is it a real property that this is a puzzle of, or? Yeah, I think I all think of these are real it. properties. Oh, okay, neat. Edgy. I actually don't know what it would take to be an edge lord. I've, I've heard this phrase used a lot, but it's, I don't. Uh, I think you work. have to study the blade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, haven't. Uh, it's a haven't lot put of work. the work in to really know what the definition is. I just, I get the impression it's something I don't want to be. I, it I depends mean, on the group of people you run with. Uh, oh, okay. But, but it, it is a really, it's a lot. It's really time consuming to get just the right amount of edge because you are walking along it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. From from what I've heard, I've I've never really partaken myself. I learned a lot about being an edge lord from playing. Um, I believe it is Song Adventure Two. Uh, <laughs> so much from Shadow the Hedgehog. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Really okay. formative. Yeah, all right, all right. Really formative in my. Now, now I I understand now. Yeah. Uh, one 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 thing I'm finding is that. Uh, Searching for game dev days is very difficult because I'm finding oh, I a lot of game dev days, but not a oh. game called game dev days. Have you tried searching game game dev days? <laughs> if you use the same words multiple times, it's sure to work. Yep. Is anybody getting a little better as the game goes on at like dropping the piece in and having it lock in smoothly the first time? Yeah, no. a little yeah. bit. 
I was going to say yes, but um, I'm having trouble right now. Oh <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard, but you're getting better at it. doing it, and so then making it do it. All right, we're so close to the end, I'm not going to drop any more in. I'm just going to try and manage the play space and kind of do janitorial work on this uh, puzzle. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what this puzzle needs, a janitor! Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, who's going to clean this desk? Monopoly needs a banker, and puzzles need constant attention. It's like gardening. You have to keep getting the weeds out of there. You have to water your uh, puzzle. You I do. Mean, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna throw. move pieces either. All right. I'm gonna give Heather the satisfaction of completing this on her own. Oh no! Okay. I can see, I can see this person's face now, and they look so, just entirely bored. That right? Can't they go. are not having a huh, fun time. No, they and need what, to stop what is playing this game. This, what is this this whiteboard has nothing on it. I yeah. agree, I'm... Nothing at all. Well, the, this person is missing the. It middle of their brain. Maybe that's <laughs> oh my god, are they going to smile? If they smiled after you put the last piece in, that'd be amazing. Oh, if their head good if turned. they animated it? Yeah, yeah just a tiny yeah. just a tiny smirk. Thanks. I'm better now. Alright, alright. Oh, it gives you like info about the thing. Cool. Game Dev Michael. The fact that all that's these images weird. seem to be ads that's... for other games is a little bit... I don't know. We did pay for this game. I mean... Did we buy just commercials? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that, that all of these games are under the... Are, are done by the same dev team, at least. Hey, Paul, are you playing chiptunes for the audience, or should I bring my music back? I am playing chiptunes. I, wait, I can play okay. it. I can send it through the stream so you guys can hear it. One sec. Thank you so much. There. Woo! Sweet. Beauty. Look how smooshy some of these textures are. You know, I'm having more fun now. Thanks, Paul. Mm -hmm. I do want to say the music for this game was not that bad. Like, it had to No, it's it. fine. Yeah, but I like this more. Uh. My yeah, game is, uh. What is going on? Did you die? Yeah. Let's uh, cycle this. Wait, you died? Did you die? Did you Why die you in you this? <laughs> if you die in puzzle game. <laughs> do you know. die in the real world? Yeah. My friend! Not Matt, the one who figured out so much about the game that he didn't even need an invite anymore. Yeah. Right? Well, he certainly figured out how to do a thing in the game we've never figured out how That's to do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're Heather all learning OP. so much. There we are. What? Okay. My game just had a seizure now, but I'm still playing. <laughs> yeah, mine does not look like the one that's up. Wait, what? Okay, what? now it, it settled. For a minute, it like it looked like it cleared all the pieces. Don't uh, leave me alone in here with these pieces. <laughs> I... I like the, that the way this is presented, it could either be you're playing with your friends or you're playing with a bunch of ghosts that are controlling all these pieces. Well, it doesn't exactly show me pointers that anyone else has. It just kind of moves the pieces around. Yeah. I get to see Matt's or whoever player two is. <laughs> yeah, I can also see player two. But that's it. Maybe we'll Only get other players in a future patch. Yeah, only two people are playing right now anyway, right? Um, I'm Feels playing. that way. Do we, do we want to start again? Is it just Corey and I playing? Or... No, he's, I can he's, see. He's, he's joking. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. I've Nothing never is joked actually about wrong. anything in my life. Oh, come on, Matt. It feels that way sometimes. <laughs> so, just... Hard, hard left here. Justin yeah, yeah. Trudeau announces we're gonna make the vaccine at home now. Oh, yeah, Excited? I that. Exciting? Is it Maybe? I in Montreal, I think, is where they're gonna be setting up shop. Okay. 
That sounds real. There's things in Montreal. That sounds real. I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's it's going to take them a while. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a second piece of this news bit. I just want to get opinions. I don't know. Yeah. Montreal sounds I mean, real. And Montreal's a place. Let me tell you. They they I've have been to there. set up. They have to set up a place to make it, but it also has to go through an approval process. Uh, I think uh, those places that they're setting up aren't going to be like our first batch of stuff. That's going to be stuff we get later. Like, way later. Okay. Like uh, A couple years later. Like, yeah. aside from just the, you know, more people making the vaccine is better, and then also, you know, having it being uh, made in the country is probably good. But it's, yeah, I mean, we're getting, it's, it's sounding like there may be, you know, a lot, we may be needing more than one like it may be sort of a recurring flu type thing where it's like yeah we might need to take the shot every year right yeah Please, something no. like that well That's we don't fine. know yet right yeah we are coming up on one year since my last haircut Same. Nice. Yeah. In a week or two i'm at a year and two months my partner at home cut my hair in the summer does that count yes yes yeah. it's, okay it's good. okay good for you yeah it counts, and, and it's thrifty. Yeah. I just figured I'd do the anime thing of, like, tying it back and cutting it off with, like, a, a ninja a dagger. Perfect. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I might do that. Oh, hey, I, I, you should think about streaming it, because I grew my hair out for, like, two years or so, and then, like, two summers ago, I just had my kids cut it off. And when Graham found out, he was like, "Oh, tell us if you ever do that again, and we'll we'll turn that into a stream." I was like, okay. <laughs> "Gotta make okay. content." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, "I'm like, I, I guess I will." I, yeah, I have I have a crap shot for you that you can just send in response to him at any time he does something like that. The one with the yeah. joy orb. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is a reminder. Okay. Uh, I love how many other like YouTubers got on that one. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, this speaks to me. This is actually my life. How dare you showcase it? Speaking of crap shots, I just found out yesterday that we have a TikTok. Yeah, oh, me yeah. too. Kinda. Well, I, I mean, it's an account. It had at least one video on it. It's it like came into. I have an Instagram. It, it came up on my for you page, so I was like, sweet. Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> James has been posting throwback Thursday photos on the Instagram. Nice. And I know he's got a stockpile, so he'll at least do it for a few weeks. Yeah, hey, James. He stops. Let me tell you, James has been alive for a lot of Thursdays now. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta throw it back. I do like the Does idea of remember? just like only posting throwback Thursdays. Sometimes <laughs> it's Thursday. It's like we. We've jumped on this uh, this new social media network to only show old things. I mean, that sounds like it could be a decent social media platform. There are several YouTube channels that do that. Yeah. Like, what if Facebook was only Facebook memories? That would probably be a better Facebook. I mean, and no one could talk an to you. That would be an improvement. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about me growing out my hair is I'm just I'm just preparing myself for when we can get back together in person because at that point you'll see me after my anime uh, time skip. Okay. Yeah. You'll have like five new techniques. Mm. Oh, and a okay. New costume. Yeah. I wasn't sure where you were going with that. I was like, we'll get back together and then he'll cut his hair off and throw in our faces and no. no. God, I've been thinking about One Piece a lot lately, and mm. I'm just, just so general? sad with where it's at. Oh. Okay, I heard about the show a few years ago. Serge told me all about it. Serge told and you all about One Piece, did he? I mean, he told me about it a bit. He wanted me to watch it, and I only gave it 10 minutes, and I... It, so you can spoil it for me, is where I'm going with this. So what, what's wrong with it right now? Unless There's you don't want to spoil it for the viewers. Arcs that feel like filler within themselves like okay. fillers usually like the anime has caught up with the content that's published 
and then you get like long draggy bits that don't move the plot but this is now it's just that's the way the story is oh no mm. it doesn't know how to end there's like a thousand characters and a thousand episodes and they're not getting anywhere um Corey, i think you're describing homestuck uh, she's <laughs> describing a lot of shonen jump yeah yeah specifically it, one piece though it's kind of sad how like you know, there's no real way to ever reconcile budgets with, like, you know, creativity or whatever. Like, I, I think the thing, I feel like the thing you're describing should naturally happen in, uh, in TV shows. Or, like, you know, I don't know, I want to say manga, comic books, anything serial. Because if it's doing well, they're going to want to keep making it, but... Getting to continue keep making it doesn't necessarily mean you continue to have the great ideas that started it. So, sometimes the show just needs to end. Yeah. yeah. If you've ever watched a show where they clearly hit their ending and then they keep going because money, money, yeah. uh, they're they're pretty annoying after a while. I know. I enjoyed the first like six season of Sham Shameless, and uh, oh, I, yeah. I feel like they're in that place now too. I'm just yeah. like I tried to watch the recent season. I'm like ah. Eh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this long. is just this is just here because someone's like we can get more money out of Shameless. What's 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 especially weird is when shows like a good show is right on the bubble of getting canceled, and yeah. so they'll do like their basically like their finale, knowing they're going to get canceled, and then there's a rally and they get brought back, and so they're like, oh, this is awkward. Like the last five yeah. seasons of Agents of Shield, they're like, yeah. this is the last one, right? Yeah, we kind of <laughs> we're done, right? The, we kind of destroyed the universe at the end of the last one, and everyone died. Um, okay, other yeah, stuff is happening now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but it's like uh, there's other long-running shonen series like um, Hajime no Ippo, which is boxing, and they get into like the tournament arcs and things like that. But One Piece tries to do different things. <laughs> like, save giant babies. Okay, I hate Punkazard. I'm not gonna dance around it. Punkazard was the arc that I fell off on. Oh, and, uh... Okay. There were just so many side stories happening all at the same time. Is Punkazard a, a Charizard who is also a punk? No, it's an island for doing genetic experiments on giants by okay. an evil clown named Caesar, I believe. Ah, oh, evil God, clowns. Right. Yeah, there's an evil clown Caesar. character. You gotta get your evil clowns in. It's important. The the quintessential like, you know, the like, oops, we ended by mistake. Ooh, that ooh, always, that was a big satisfying chunk. You always love yeah. is the like when it ends. And then there's like either like the very ending scene or post credit scene, right? If they're like, yes, it all went perfectly according to plan. You know, there's some whoever was the big bad that they just defeated. It turns out was actually just a henchman for something uh, even yeah. worse. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Matthias brings which, up Bleach in the chat, which is which suffered the same problem. The Bount arc, yeah, is a good point to stop. Like, stop season three. They. Hmm. They just keep digging. But yeah, you yeah, can that's a word for it. Digging. You, you can only have the bad guy being the henchman of an even worse guy like so many times before it starts getting ridiculous. Yeah. I feel like the Magic the Gathering plot probably suffers from that, but like it sort of gets a pass since it's just like, you know, some storyline that exists because a game exists. It's just yeah. always Nickel Bolas. Yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, sometimes it's Nicol Bolas is the henchman, and sometimes it's Nicol Bolas at the back. Right? Like, it sort of plays both parts, depending on which storyline you're in. But, uh, yeah. You can suspect it's Nicol Bolas. That's fine. You're probably right. Nicol! Oh, yeah. Hey, Raul Gulia in chat brings up that The Good Place nailed its ending. I wonder if The Good Place oh, knew that it only oh. had the money for three seasons. I because think they intended to do they... two to three from yeah. the start and count. Because yeah. I, yeah, I the... thought maybe the ending of the first season, like, I didn't I didn't expect a second season after the first season. Yeah, I don't, I don't think place. they intended... They probably They're got signed on for one yeah. and then knew they were getting a couple more. Their cast was probably pretty expensive. 
Um, yeah, Ted Danson. Yeah, Ted Danson's been around for a long time. Um, I didn't watch Veronica Kristen's. Mars, so I didn't know yeah. Kristen Bell was famous. Oh, well, she's also been in a bunch of Disney movies, but I guess, I don't know. But that's that doesn't one. make you famous because you're not on screen, so you will say. Yeah, the, the Good Place, yeah, had, I'm, it's one of the only shows I've seen that has that had like a really great, satisfying ending and then sort of had the extra episode that was like kind of a victory lap. <laughs> a little game on. Right. Yeah, which is such a, it was such a neat thing that they were able to do. It's like the David Tennant doctor getting to say goodbye to everyone. Mm. Little victory lap, yeah. Hmm. That is, it is a separate skill from general writing of a story, like starting it and continuing it. You have to develop a skill for ending a story, and not well, everyone who writes has that skill developed. Here's, here, here's the thing, when you're writing, it's like playing um, uh, either like a rhythm game or a game that, uh, like a platformer that's really hard. You get really good at the beginning part because you can do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the ending is harder because you do it less. You don't get as much it's, practice. It's, you yeah. know, with uh, you know, with books or with or with um, uh, uh, music albums or whatever, right? You have your entire life to write your first one, and then <laughs> and then you only have whatever the time between Power the first and left. second yeah. to do your second one. Yeah. I wonder if there's some like halfway decent uh, exercise or study you can do to be like just practicing endings of stories, right? Mm. It sounds imagine. tricky. I mean, there's there's group rights and stuff, so yeah, I you could come that up would with probably help. Yeah, you could probably come up with like a bunch of prompts to be like, this is the setup you're in, and then after that, you just practice trying to close it off or making making port form notes about how to close it off. There's an interesting, like, suspension of disbelief aspect where it's like, you know, if you take some one of these shows that's a big sort of, you know, like Lost or, or Battlestar Galactica or like one of these things where there's like big revelations and stuff, right? And you're great. It's like super fun to watch and you're happy and great as long as you believe deep down that it is actually going that there are actually answers to all these questions <laughs> that right. the, that the that the that the people writing it know actually what has happened do know the answers yeah. to these things but as everybody soon, wants to be part of a plan right as as soon as that like uh that that experience is broken you know as soon as you realize wait they don't have a plan they're just <laughs> making this up <laughs> it just completely falls apart is it this my is turn? Story. Yeah, do it. I don't think I've done do one it. yet. Okay. Nice. Ooh. All right. Do you Ooh. level up? Would we all like to take a break at this point? Yeah. I'm okay with that. What's the? Yeah. What do you get when you level up? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> some uh, beeps. Sa satisfaction. You get to see some beeps. Hear, hear some beeps. I think you level up every time you do a puzzle, so I'm not really sure. It's. It's. Yeah. Maybe we get some new avatars or something. Maybe. Uh, all right. Someone let's... very helpful in the chat was like, "Access more boards." No, these are all of them. Yeah. For this game. Uh, all right. Let's uh, take a quick commercial break. See you all in a little bit. Welcome back. We have begun a new puzzle a new day dawns on puzzle city i i i like just the 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 the, the little bit of casual trolling happening in the uh in-game chat there <laughs> trolling casuals mm -hmm. yes we would uh, never speaking of things i saw tech talk today where someone asked their friends who was playing in the Super Bowl. And I had the same reaction as their friends. I said, that's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. who's playing. I'm assuming it's like something... I saw James post a picture of a team called Ravens. 
on a previous thing a few weeks ago. I think a Ravens is a team of some kind. Did the Ravens? No, no, that's a bird. It's a bird? Okay. Yeah. Did the Ravens so win? The... I don't know. I, they is... have the power of flight. How can they so not they're, win? They're in the yeah. Super Bowl? I don't They've know. got to be really good at playing sports if they can fly. I had the same reaction as wait, that. Wait, people. Wait, are they fighting the, the Super Bowls? Because they might have yeah. a problem then. In I do the... like Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super, super Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah. Super... <laughs> I, I like owls. <laughs> I like the... And I like Puppy Bowl. Uh, and I like... Super Bowl commercials, but I don't want to see them this year. <laughs> you don't want to see Super Bowl commercials this year? They're gonna have- I watched a YouTube where it was like some famous YouTuber doing like an art class for his other YouTube friends and they were all standing in the same room and it- I couldn't watch it. Oh, and yeah, I, I don't think I commercial, could do that. They'll depict people being together. Just tell yourself it's coming from Australia. Oh, the Ravens aren't in the Super Bowl. Oh. Dang it! Are they Australian? I was always Ravens excited. versus the. Is it the Washington team or is it the other team? There's more than one team. Julian Long said, teams. "Pirates versus lingering racism." Yeah. Oh. Huh. That's why I said the Washington team, but there is another oh, team with a similar name. Yeah, they can't. They can't narrow down their racist names of teams to just one. Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Oh, right. And not in the, like, you're not my buddy chief kind of way. No. That's not racist, it's just mean. Pal. Yeah, maybe they could, maybe they could just, like, change, change, change it from, to, to, like, Master Chief. Yeah, or the Kansas City Chefs. That would be rad. Then they could have an HGTV uh, like spinoff or crossover. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah. Think of have, the marketing. Their they after parties like, would be so good. They could have special like football helmets that have chef hats on them. Yes. Oh. Everyone would watch that. They're just yeah. throwing money away, money away by not doing that right now. Yeah. Now we're on the level. Okay, uh, Kalira 77 apparently this was an actual Snickers commercial. Really? Well, wh which one, Snickers, though? The I'm not your pal chief, or or the idea to call them the Kansas City Chefs? Because I think Kansas City Chefs would be a rat. Okay, crew, crew chiefs could also work, yeah. yeah? Yeah. I'm just thinking of the the video that we loaded, we didn't load Ray Run with the, uh, the, like, noir pizza. Where the, the guy who runs the pizza place is called the Chief. Hmm. It is a word in English, just not the way they're using it for their team branding. Yeah. That, that clearly does not go... <laughs> <laughs> Who is responsible for this? <laughs> what? Let's throw? Who is the toddler in the, uh, in the board game here? In the puzzle game? Yeah, Nelson, thought... are your kids playing? Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get out my little call me Chris baby hands here. Yeah. 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 They're playing, just not in the room right now. Yeah, exactly. Ote. This this picture looks like the background from a LucasArts adventure game. It does. <laughs> yeah. Or the yeah. background in an Otome. Yeah, how come this puzzle is so much more pixelated than the last one? It's it's impressive. They can pick whatever resolution they want for these puzzles. Okay, but uh, pixels that aren't pixel-sized are a problem, or a scourge upon our great nation of 8-bit inspired video games. Uh -huh. The pixels must be pixel-sized. One pixel per pixel, One pixel please. per pixel! Please, only one just... pixel per pixel, everyone. It's when it's games but... use different pixel scales in the process of the game. That's bad time. It's bad. Would, would you say that those are some mangled pixels then? Ooh. Or when see what you did there, but we don't like it. Or when someone wants to use pixel art, but they're also like using Unity or something, so they just like scale and rotate. Scale, and, yep. And it's just like, no, that's not how things rotate if they're pixels. We don't do like that. We do like not like that. 
what's this one doing here? It's moving now. I accept you, unusually large pixels. Who's got nope. Who's got the rest of this purple building on the left-hand side? Oh, I found it. I did it. I did it, team. Well, is, did Wait, you? Wait, that's not right. Are you no. sure? No, there's two. There was two. I need one more little bit of purple on the left. A little bit of purple on the left. I think it's... Le uh... Who's got the left left cuff purple? Purple. I need a little bit of purple on your left sleeve. Is it this one? Is it? Mate? Oh. Oh? Yeah, I think you were right. Maybe I'm right? Great piece with left purple. Hooray! Okay, I, I'm good. I love that I had a piece and I was trying to figure out where it went, and then I put it down for a second and someone else just cleared it away. <laughs> <laughs> Can you block somebody from putting his piece in by moving your piece over top of it? Uh, if, if your piece is in the right spot, yeah. Because once you your piece is in the right spot, you can't move it anymore. You can kind of pick pieces up from people if your piece matches their piece. and Yeah. I can take control it'll just glom it. onto the... The whole beast. Hmm. I have to say that I have gotten a little tired of like pixel art platformer type games. I don't know. It just depends on your budget, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I get why and everything, but uh, I, I, the, I find I have found that that aesthetic uh, has started to grate on me a little. I feel like the nostalgia can only get you so far, right? Like, yeah, it's you, you can't just be constantly inundated with nostalgia. It you stops being were, nostalgia, right? Uh, Paul, you said you were playing like a bunch of Metroidvanias. I have been playing some Metroidvanias. Those are there's a lot of really pixely Metroidvanias out there. I've got like ten. Oh yeah, yeah. but I, I was gonna say the the two that I've been playing recently though uh, was. Um, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, which is right. like, not pixelated. as far as you can get away from pixelated graphics, basically, while still being 2D. <laughs> it's incredibly gorgeous. Uh, and actually, I've started playing uh, Guacamele, which is... Mm. Oh, uh, the first one? Uh, no, the second one. Okay. Um, but that's got a neat kind of still somewhat retro-y, but in a different way kind of... Um, Vector, Who's gonna take it? More kind of victory aesthetic, which I quite like. Just cause Are we the... fighting over the last piece? Is that what's happening? I'm good, I, I got the last one, I'm not fighting. I think it's uh, just you and Matt. I'm, I'm so, not touching it. I'm so well, full. I think Matt's just effing with everyone. Oh yeah. Why wouldn't I? That's what friends do, right? Classic Canadian standoff, Sarah. That's right. That's how we do up in here. That is as we say. How we do? You uh, you've been playing anything, Nelson? Magic: The Gathering Arena, a little bit of Valorant, um, and Yoshi's Crafted World. Which whoa, oh, that, that one's great. Oh yeah, Yoshi's Crafted World's fun. Yeah, we figured out my whole family likes to play Yoshi's Crafted World. Just about. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Quinlan's still a little too young to really enjoy video games. I think. Either that or I'm doing it wrong. Probably the latter. But uh, What baby yeah. does not like flashing lights? Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, weirdly, so we got them We got them these sweet room lights. Like, we uh, we got basically, like, ground effects for their little bunk bed things. We got the, like, Ikea, like, single bunk bed, like, standing I'm high up bunk bed. Yeah, no, me too. I tweeted, I tweeted, like, my son has a cooler bedroom than I've ever had. Um, but, so... The one in Quinn's room, he can turn it to strobe, oh, and no. he likes that. He'll keep it oh, on strobe. My. Like wow. you gave, we gave him the remote, and he can go through the options and stuff. He's three, and he'll keep it on strobe. And I'm just like, okay, if you're gonna do that, I can't be in your room, and I have to close your door. Like I will die. It's um, Halloween <laughs> every night. Oh yeah, he loves Halloween oh. too, actually. But uh, but yeah, he can keep it like that. Like a middle but, school dance party. Yeah, yeah, but paying attention to a video game for more than, like, 30 seconds is too hard. I think mean, that's okay. Interests change and... Yeah, no, it's fine. What not? My, my four-year-old can, like, play Ring Fit for, like, three hours. It's weird. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, man, she's... I can barely do ten minutes. Yeah, ditto. Um, she can do Ring Fit. Well, we have to put it on the lowest setting just so she can actually, like squeeze yeah, yeah. the ring to like yeah. advance the plot so then at the lowest setting it's like she it takes like half an hour before she's kind of sweating or whatever your body is different when you're that age mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah, yeah I 
the first time I did Ring Fit, I really hurt myself. <laughs> I oh, could I'm sorry. not walk for days. Well, oh, no. okay, it was my fault for loading up all of the mini games and trying all of the mini games. <laughs> no, that's and not then, what you're supposed to say. The mini games are like the hardest part. Squattery <laughs> wheel. Squattery <laughs> wheel. Oh, What's the game squattery that did it. Wheel? <laughs> oh, yeah. Squattery wheel. Uh, for the viewers at home who don't know, ring fit. Oh, you have the ring that you can squeeze, and for squattery wheel, you have to like squat to move it up and down, and then squeeze to form a. So it's 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 this ring. It's uh, you can squeeze it. Yeah, it's pretty stiff ring. It's an impressive like rubber material. I don't know. Yeah, yeah but you're just squatting for like half an hour, and it's yeah. Yeah, the, the, it's, there's a very uh, squat-based mechanic that's used a lot in that game. Yeah. I like the one that's like a Master Blaster, where you have to like mm. put the ring between your knees and squeeze to jump. Oh, nice. Oh. I haven't gotten that far yet. I didn't well, load up the mini games. games. Well, I played one of them. Uh, the one that's just like squeeze and pull the ring apart to like shoot things on the inside or outside oh, yeah, the circle. Yeah. I'm still pretty early on in this game. It doesn't really reward you and make you want to play it again after you've played it once. But I you can say. get smoothies. Right. Well, yeah, but you don't get to really drink. You need to them. watch a really sweaty dragon. <laughs> so sweaty. Yeah, yeah, that dragon's thirsty. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He should be thirsty with the amount that he's sweating. Yeah, you can also like go to the smoothie shop and you know watch someone who you have no idea how they got to where they are in life, but somehow are married to this very beautiful woman who runs a clothing store. Right. Uh, so you get, you get to try to puzzle that out for yourself. Save his ass and then take him Yeah, to and then you get to do a bunch yeah. of jobs for him. Like, how did how did this happen? Yeah. This is in Ring Fit? Yeah, yeah in Ring Fit. Maybe the uh, world of Ring Fit has arranged marriages, I'm gonna hope. I believe, I uh, if, based on sale numbers, if, you, if you're if not a person who denies Ring Fit as being an RPG, it's one of the best-selling RPGs over the last year. It's yes. actually a great game. Like, I, I really like that we got it. Yeah, I love yeah. the idea that, that like, there's this mini-game in Ring Fit that's, like, puzzling out the relationship between two of the characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, how no, did no, you no, shoot forget, me? Uh -huh. Forget the working out. Forget the working out. What's going on right now? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm actually, I, to, to be honest, Ring Fit is very, very tempting to me. I, I was, like, super excited to, I was going to try to get it, like, a long time ago when it was completely unavailable. But I think it actually has started to become available again. I mean, yeah, we, it's a we had to wait. Now. We had to wait a few months. Like we wanted to buy it. I want to say last March, right? Um, but then we got it. I don't know by September. We had stopped trying, and then yeah, we just kind of popped got, up one day. Yeah, well, we we kept checking in, and then eventually we could get it. Kendall, when did we get Ring Fit? Did we get it in August. Or something? It was a while ago. I just yeah. a lot of the I I noticed from the just the ads and everything. A lot of the movements that you seem to be part of Ring Fit look very similar to the kinds of movements that I have in the past been prescribed as like part of a, you know, a Physio phys thing? physiotherapy yeah. regime for, you know, back and neck mm. troubles. Yeah, yeah, I told my physiotherapist yesterday that I've been doing Ring Fit and he said, oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even if you don't do the storyline, you can, like, there's the mini games. So they added a mi rhythm mini game like last year. So... You can hours Oh of yeah, I need to try that. But still. also, like they let you target the specific zones. Like if you can make your own like exercise plan if you don't want to do the storyline. No, nice. I should get Ring Fit. I mean, I don't actually have a Switch, so I'd have to actually get a Switch too. But well, there's the Office one. Well, you wait, own, yeah, don't you own it in part. Just trade one of your PS5s for it. Just go exercise <laughs> at the office. Yeah. Okay, most satisfying moment so far, putting this space marine's mouth onto the rest of his head. <laughs> I or, attached or its head or her head, I don't like, know. That's there was their a big, yeah. a big yeah. clump that I attached, and I was like, it goes here. Her, yeah. her face seems to occupy a lot less of the helmet than I would have expected. Either that or well, she has need, a giant forehead. You need room for your hair, right? There, there appears to be no hair. This appears to be a bald well, humanoid. I mean, the hair might be all kind of tucked back under the helmet thing, right? Like, I mean, like they're they're wearing some sort of screen thing over their head. They could here. they could be yeah, wearing like a suit thing that keeps the hair down. Yeah, could be. 
I see we've all been avoiding the difficult part of all the different reds. <laughs> no. No, I was busy fixing the, 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 the signs that people that ain't me, bro. around. That ain't yeah. me. I'm not a coward. Imagine I've just not, been... Imagine we're not seeing her face through the face shield, but she's actually like, you know, it's like whatever, that, that orange with the face on it. Like her face is actually on the outside of the of an orange helmet head piece. She's like a jack o' lantern. Oh no. <laughs> oh, something magical happened today. Uh huh. Um. Did you win a draft? No, that's more that's more your wheelhouse. Okay. It's more your wheelhouse. But magical things. Go on, go on. Yeah. Um as I was going to get my daily coffee because, you know, when when you're grinding out some editing, you you gotta have some grinds yourself. Um yep. for about a block I got to walk behind a neighborhood with it. Mm. Um and I loved it. It was a magical experience for me. Mm. I, could, I could, I was smiling the entire time. And then it went to the boulevard and squat down for a poop, and I kept walking. <laughs> yeah, it's not polite to just keep watching at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I like to give the local dogs some privacy. Yeah. But he was wearing a fashionable coat, you know? For, for people who don't know, uh, wait, is that a, isn't that behind? Isn't your 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 book on Whippets actually behind you right now? Oh, uh, for people who don't know, Matt really loves dogs. Oh, uh, well, no, this specific type of dog, specifically yeah. Whippets and Italian yes, Greyhounds. It wait, it's there. We can see. <laughs> oh. Show us the Whippet book. Yeah, Whippet. Whippet, good. Nice. Why isn't the how to train, how to own Whippet owner manual called Whippet Good? That's, that's yeah. such a massive Well, thing. because it might be suggesting that you're going to whip the dog, and they might not want to have a title like that. Yeah, not the best. Also, that probably, it's already taken. Like, probably. Yeah, Whippet allowed, Good is... Only one book can have the same title. Like, yeah. Not every Whippet book can have that title. Yeah, yeah and that's, you know, already, uh, like, it's some dominatrix's life story, right? Hmm. <laughs> Could be. It's probably spelt different, though. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, good point. That's an important legal distinction. As I was on the phone with my mom last night, she was watching the news, and apparently there was some report about a dog over in Montreal that okay. is making waves on Instagram and it's a little Italian greyhound which is a whip if it's smaller and she's just like oh oh that's one of the things you want okay I get it it looks ridiculous <laughs> I understand now <laughs> I understand you now you yeah. want something that looks ridiculous so you may laugh well, and also is wearing so much fashion, you know. It's such a fashionable dog. That's why it had so much Instagram clout. I don't see how these last pieces could possibly go together. No. Swap them. Yes! Yes! We did it. That one this was, was maybe kind of difficult. The, this was maybe the best puzzle to get the, the glowing, like, sparkles at the end, right? Because it could be some sort of, you know... Right. Ability that the, our space marine is using. This one has a lot of green. What they they need, um, like uh, you know, Peggle, where when you beat the level in Peggle, it plays you Ode to Joy. Like it needs some sort of something like that to really like. Well, I've fire turned the music off, so you have to do it for us, Paul. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe it does, and we just can't hear because the music's off. Fanfare, yeah.
Maybe this one's too green. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, no, it'll balance out the red. Yeah, it's good. Our, our eyes will be equally tired all the way through by the end of the night. This kind of looks like a Zelda. Level. Yeah, kind of. For yeah. sure. My partner actually kind of teases me relentlessly about not being able to figure out when in Yoshi's Crafted World you need to go into the third dimension and like walk forward or backwards in the oh, game. Oh no! Yeah, no, I'm constantly, I can never figure it out. I'm always just like, ah, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. But all you have to do is like turn forward or backwards. Have you played uh, Fez at all? Uh, no, although I've listened to the entire soundtrack about 50 times because I'm a big Disaster Beast fan. <laughs> but, oh, God, yeah. I, I do not recommend playing Fez and then watching It Follows. It's very weird. <laughs> right, yeah. I couldn't get through It Follows, not because I was scared, but because I got really? bored, unfortunately. Is, really? Does it pick up? I don't know. I got to the point, it's like after the cops show up at her house, and then she's like, I don't know if at pick school. Up is correct. It's kind of a slow burn the whole way yeah. through. And at the yeah. end, like the resolution. I just, I it's can't accept that. It just As seemed a, like yeah. a lot of following. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Honestly, if your movie requires me to, like, just sit there and let it happen for, like, an hour, I'm not down. No, but I'm just going to do something else. Conundrum. It's do you okay. pass on the curse or do you just die? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just not be in those conversations. It's too much to ask for me. I'm too old. I don't have enough time left to watch It Follows. <laughs> Fair. I hope, uh, I hope they... They port over Yoshi's Woolly World to the Switch because like, if you're enjoying Crafted World, Woolly World's mm. really good. Woolly World, it's called. Yeah, is that yeah. A, oh yeah, it's Yoshi's Woolly Nintendo World. Nintendo DS or something, or what is it? It's uh, a Switch. Uh, you can get it on the 3DS, but it's a uh, okay. Wii U game. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and Tyler missed that platform. It's. I, I was actually it's just okay. You didn't miss too much. Most okay. of that's coming to the Switch. All right. I was thinking the other day that it's like, oh man, I could really go for another one of those really fun, cute like Mario platformers like the it, I feel I feel like there hasn't the, we're, we're like overdue for either like a new a new Yoshi game or a new Kirby game or you know some oh, sort of fun some sort of I like could, fun platformer could really go for another Kirby's epic yarn they have oh, to yeah. stop making games and then just skinning them with Kirby although epic yarn is fine epic yarn is super fun yeah I, I like the epic yarn I was assuming I'm assuming Epic Yarn is in Woolly World were sort of done in the same. Uh, they were done by the same dev team. Yeah, cool. They were definitely oh. made with the same intent. All right, well I haven't played either of those, so intent okay. to yarn. Which check them I, out if I can get them on Switch. I had uh, I had a lot of fun challenging chat to come up with other yarn-based video game names. I think my favorite. Maybe I can get my. Yeah, yeah. my favorite was Bayonetta. Mm, that's very good. That would be an good. excellent one, yeah. That's good. Oh, he's Shame. only eight feet tall with heels. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> We've grown beyond that as a society. Also grown. We demand taller women. With hats. Preferably knit hats. I wonder if I can get my mom into Yoshi's Wooly Adventure. Mm. I thought you were going to say Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. Good you don't know. I, Red Thread Redemption was the other one that oh, I liked. That's a good one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's like a very it. good one. I'd have to pry my mother away from Minecraft, and that's never happening. Ooh. Your mother's a big Minecrafter? Yeah. Mm. Wow. She should uh, play with James then at some point. No. No. <laughs> she only plays yeah. vanilla. Some not, worlds not, weren't not, meant to be crossed. Not <laughs> not everyone who plays a game has to play with the person that streams a game on our channel. Fair. <laughs> Does she build like uh, like uh, like build sort of big um, sort of buildings and like art pieces and stuff, or does she like play it as the game or? What, how does your mom play? I, I'm always fascinated with, by like how people actually 
engage with Minecraft. Right, so there's a bunch of different ways to consume Minecraft. It could be right? so, many, yeah. so different to different people. She kind of starts over a lot. She doesn't like uh, survival mode. Well, she only plays survival mode, but she doesn't like running into the enemies very much. She doesn't feel like her reflexes are up to like dealing with combat. Well, in combat, but, uh, Minecraft is not very fun. But just fight. she likes the like collecting and crafting things. Yeah, my nieces also play, and they were playing on iPad or Xbox together, and so a lot of her experience was like doing tours of their houses that they would make, and they'd be like four to six years old and oh, neat. doing stuff like that. She mostly just does very simple construction. And not a lot of exploration or anything. Yeah. That's okay. If she just, like, wants to sit in front of Minecraft and, like, kind of mindlessly, like, build a log cabin. Yep. That is a successful experience. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing wrong with planning to do that, you know? Nah. Any, any kind of game that you're just playing, you're having fun no matter how you're playing it. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's a win. There's, there's no shame in that whatsoever. I I was looking at a story for Checkpoint, actually. It's po possible spoilers, but probably not. But, I don't know. That's, that, for what uh, game? That, well, for Checkpoint. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that Checkpoint some... spoilers coming up. Okay, turn your turn your screens off if you haven't watched Checkpoint yet. Yeah, if, you don't, if you're not <laughs> spoiling yourself on the news already. Yeah, exactly. But one of the stories I was looking at was that uh... somebody... Um, uh, people had, uh, over many years... A team of people had have recreated a uh, very large portion of um, um, Mario Galaxy. All right. I think it is. Yeah, that sounds like something people in would do. Minecraft. Like eighty-five nice. stars, I think. Like, so like of the vast majority Aha. of the game. Wow. Uh, so you could. Play Mario Galaxy in Minecraft, I guess, if you if you want. No, only no. <laughs> people people only care about Mario Galaxy 2. Really? Well, they're all very salty that they didn't put the second one on the 3D stars thing, so I assume that people only care about the sequel. I heard the sequel was the better one. Stixius with Loom Eternal. I like that. Loom Eternal. Oh yeah, my instead of Doom Eternal, you just have to, like, mm. knit a bunch of demons, and you have to just, like, sew all the demons back into Mars or whatever. Or you play Loom, uh, oh, and okay. finally Loom gets a sequel, because yeah. they teased oh. the sequel. Oh. Did they? In Loom, and yeah. then... Okay, okay. I didn't know Loom was a game it. either. Okay. Yeah. Loom was a Sweet. really... I actually played it on stream a long, long time ago. It's a really neat... Huh old uh it's a lucas arts adventure game but it had this interesting mechanic where uh a lot of the stuff that you did was uh music based like you would have to yeah. play you have to play a song oh that's sweet and then and then you so there would be like a song to like chain to to like make a thing spin and then you could play the song backwards to have it spin the other way does anyone remember i want to say April Fools 2007 and Blizzard releases um a preview of a new class that's the bard and you have to like hold your your keyboard sideways to like play melodies like it's a guitar. Right. I was so amped for that. Oh. I was like like it was hilarious that it was a joke. Like I was totally punked, but I was I was playing World of Warcraft at the time and I was just so ready for that character to really happen. I'm like, "Oh, this is great." So they got you with the joke. They did totally yeah. get me with the joke. I was absolutely punked. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, sometimes there's just like there's these April Fool's Day video game announcements where you're you get got because you're like that is the thing I want. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just like I would unironically do that. Absolutely, I would. I'm so ready for the uh, for the WoW rhythm game character. Oh, right. There's that. Yeah. I yeah. Can do it. There's always that aspect yeah. where you're where you're like, well, I guess you know, screw me for wanting to see something cool yeah for sure yeah you feel a little you feel a little dumb and i'm just like oh i get that was i was supposed to know that was a joke come on like that would have been awesome check yourself blizzard um before you wreck yourself blizzard yeah 
Think about it. Think about the joy you could have produced by just, instead of making that a joke, just making that class. <laughs> yeah, that's why you uh, don't don't pay attention to anything on the internet on April 1st. Internet sure. lie day. Most most of March 31st, really, because you never know when it's going to be April 1st. Just yeah, the, the whole time zone thing, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. You Just can't, don't pay you can't attention to it. anything on the internet. And now that Think Geek yeah. is gone, that was like the only oh. good part. There, I like enjoyed some of the the Blizzard and some of the um, Wi Wizards of the Coast uh, April Fools over the years. There's been a few good ones. I really liked the uh, announcement for duet decks. It was like Lillian. Lillian and, or sorry, Liliana and Gideon. That was that was another funny April Fools. What, like what was pretend. the? What was the? It's like, it's like a pretend magic product that instead of dual decks, it's going to be like two characters that go on a date together, instead oh. of like they. It was I like mean, an April Fools or a Valentine's Day. I can't remember, but it was an April Fools vibe. I, I mean, once again, those would sell like hotcakes. It's true. Yeah, yeah they would absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was less mad about them not being real. But yeah, they would have sold like hotcakes, it's true. I mean, most magic stuff sells pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's probably degrees. That, yeah, for sure. There's ways there's that the, the like, reverse April Fool's things can sometimes work well. It's hard to do, but occasionally like where you do something for real that seems so ludicrous that it's an april fool's joke and you release on april 1st and then on april 2nd you're like no no we're actually doing this <laughs> yeah what i've read at least one announcement that was just like uh, just so we're clear this is real like, like gmail yeah. we just gmail had to do that. it today right gmail was that yeah was yeah that. like gmail when gmail first came out everybody was doing like you know hey you go on mail you can get like 50 megabytes of space for all your email and then Gmail came out and was like, hey, two gigabytes. Here you go. Never delete an is, email ever. Is it was that on, why? And, and it was on April 1st. And people were is like, that, haha, that's funny. And then they did it. Is that why that's one of the only things Google's really kept around? Is because they think they're just keeping a joke going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the only way to explain it. So uh, they, they, it gives them so much access to people's, you know, private information. In in, in a does. aggregated, uh, anonymized form, probably, sure. probably. Sure. <laughs> I mean, the search function works within my email, so. Yeesh, really? Well, what? Yeah, you can you, search your you own have, email. You, have you never searched your email? No. Well, if you don't want to search your email, you can instead delete emails after you've read them. Yeah. Then you don't have to. But if you never delete an email, you kind of have to search your email for stuff. I'm running out of storage space. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you don't know why. I know why. I mean, she didn't say that. I have about, I want to say, 2,500 saved emails. Uh, I just don't bother deleting them. But one of these days, I might just do the big purge, because I don't believe I have anything I actually have to keep. Uh, the purge is harder than you may think. It's not just tw 12 hours of fun where crime is legal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you have to click delete on every page, or is there... I haven't even checked. Is there a select all button in you, your you Gmail can, inbox? You can do a select all. Select all delete? Nice. Delete thing. There we go. That's what. That's the backstory of the purge. Somebody was, just talking, <laughs> somebody was just talking about getting rid of their email, and email? Got way, yeah. it got way out of There was a miscommunication, and it got way out of hand. And they, yeah. it, they, they, they didn't, it was too awkward to correct it. Yeah. <laughs> We've gone too far now. We can't. We've gone too far. Can't say no now. They seem so excited about it. Yeah. This game looks really cute. Stranded, Stranded sales. Explorers of the Cursed Island. I, mean, oh, I thought you were I've talking been... about puzzles. <laughs> I've been I've been burnt before by uh, cover art. Yeah. This could very I'm, well I... be like a match three game or something. Yeah, I was I was really stoked to learn um, on Twitter this week because there was a like 
Super Nintendo games, you know, pick three, you have to delete the rest or whatever. Like, you oh, really yeah, want yeah. to Yeah, three. yeah, yeah. I was, I was really stoked to learn that I'm not the only person who really liked Secret of Mana. Um, I because just own it. Yeah, certainly none of my friends growing up had played that. Like, we played Street Fighter together, everyone had played Mario, we played Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah. But when I was in, like, elementary school or whatever, like, um, I was the only person that played Secret of Mana, and I played it with my cousins. But, yeah. Uh, Secret of Mana I'll, was great, yeah. But yeah, I really I'll, liked it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Nelson. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you now you have something you can talk to Beach about. Oh, if perfect. You were missing a topic before. Now you got one. Perfect. Yeah. He loves talking about secrets. Well, I know I can just always talk to him about anything that's really weird. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's very like he's Secret of Evermore. <laughs> oh yeah, that was kind of this was a strange sequel. You're right. Yeah. 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 No, Enix was part of Square by the time I started playing games. Mm -hmm. But we uh, we we did buy the Secret of Mana collection for for Switches at home. Nice. It wasn't Se it was Secret of Mana or Secret of Aramore that was just Enix USA. I was like, it might have been Secret of Aramore. Yeah. You're Help like, us chat. It wasn't square? a sequel. Sorry. No, just they have similar play styles. It, for, for oh my whatever, gosh! It's it. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just saying, for whatever reason, like of course, you know, a Square. You know, Square as a, as a separate entity was the case when I was a kid. You know, was the case when I was a kid for a long time. And Square Enix has been around for a long time, but the idea of Enix being by itself for some reason, right? <laughs> for for some reason, <laughs> like I'm sure I've played Enix games, but it just sounds so weird. Are you yeah. Are you sure though? How sure yeah. are you? And Zazamos confirms Enix USA for for Evermore. It was so weird to see that logo the first time I played that. I think Enix was one of the many developers for a game that wormed its way into my heart when I was a kid. Um, Star Ocean 2. Mm -hmm. What a janky game. What a janky game. <laughs> And then some of the developers went on to work on Tales of games. Yeah. It's a small world after all. In game dev? Yeah, yeah I imagine so. If you meet one person, you met them all. So when are we getting into like a small world game, you know, like where you take that ride at Disneyland and that's the Well, game. <laughs> Disney would have to be a little less litigious. I mean, Fair. Disney might just make it. They've got uh, yeah, like three go. different game development houses. Yeah. It's in their best interests. And if we can sit through the insufferable music of Yoshi's Crafted World, we can listen to the song from um, <laughs> from It's a Small World as we go through the ride. I remember yeah. enjoying the music in Crafted World. It's it's not oh, really? its best. It's <laughs> uh, all right. All right. <laughs> for, from Yoshi, as, as far as Yoshi games go, that one ranks pretty low. Okay, I, I it's too late to walk this back. So if no. I've offended any of you, <laughs> yeah. I just have to live with it. I mean, no, no. I, I guess to be honest, I agree with you. To be honest, I don't like. I don't remember being annoyed by the music, but I also don't remember the music like at all. So that's Did you maybe like indication. figure out that you were supposed to turn it off and listen to something else? Like <laughs> <laughs> because I did that and it was great. Same with Ring Fit, to be honest. Ah, I'm too busy with Ring Fit to turn like, off the music. Uh, Ring Fit, the music is fine. It's like well scored or whatever for what it is, but there's just not enough of it. So mm -hmm. after you've played it like two days of ring fit i think you're supposed to like get your own beat so get your jock jam, I, so. I mostly just find like i start ignoring it sure like, yeah. not, i'm i'm busy yeah. doing something else so my brain's not even yeah. processing it that is fine is it like feeding noobs is stuff like time to the music no yeah kind of i don't know yeah no not importantly it's not you don't not, like not need in a, a way that you're cue. gonna really need it At yeah least. you don't you don't hear things I mean, there's the rhythm games, and those are probably a bit more, but they use Nintendo music for those. Yeah, it's it's a runner with turn-based uh, combat. Mm. So, like, you run along a track, and then you encounter an enemy, and then you do turn-based RPG combat that yeah. involves exercise. Where you work out instead of click buttons, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was turn-based. Which is kind of the opposite of, like, regular 
RPG turn-based combat when you just stand there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like it's turn-based in that like you you get as much time as you want between your actions, but then once you pick an action, you then have to do it in rhythm. Like you have you you have to like do all of your squeezes. Well, they or count. They count, and yeah. you have to press a certain. But it's not. I guess you can it's take not it like fitness you want. boxing. Which is all sure. is more yeah fitness boxing. Right. That's the whole rhythm. song. Yeah, you just gotta like keep punching and jumping or whatever the whole song, right? Wow, oh, there's there's a game that could really use. Uh, I would I would prefer it had lyrics instead of the <laughs> what it has. Yeah, because <laughs> I like it just fine for what it is, but it could use some better music. Who's picking up the sword pieces? Come here, come here. <laughs> There you go! <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. I was worried that we were, like, devolving into infighting here in the puzzle game. <laughs> no, we were joining the Katamari of Sword. Scary moment. One puzzle too far on CTS. <laughs> Oh, I made a I made a holy cross of uh, of map here. It's got to go somewhere. That's what it wants you to think, right? The bottom of my weird little cross is blood. So it must be on the bottom edge, right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the left yeah, side yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yes. You're right. You're right. Sorry, I was just, like staring at the top right corner trying to figure it out. That, that skull has one eye. Yes. Yes. I don't know and when it's done. What is that? Is that weirder than it if it had no eyes or if it had two eyes? No. Did it Depends have two eyes what... and then lost one? Maybe. It's a skull. I don't know much about its history. Or did it? Or it just like did it? Did it steal an eye from somebody else so it could have one eye? Or did it have two eyes and lost one? Wait, you think the skull acts on its own? Yes. It, it looks. It, it has an eye, not like an eye socket. Like it has an eye, so it can see things. That's that's a good point in chat. What, maybe it's the skull of a one-eyed person. I mean, a very recently dead one-eyed person, maybe. Well, I mean, it takes time to strip the flesh off. Yeah, it looks like they cleaned up their act. They had some time to do that. I I do like this tableau. This somebody's just like, okay, time. I gotta gotta read this map. But in order to read this map, I gotta get my whole map reading area prepared. Got my sword. I got my skull. Got my container blood. of blood for marking the map. I guess I got my book for translating stuff in the map. I got my mace for hitting the map if I get mad at it, I guess. <laughs> that is a morning star. It's on a chain, so it's like a flail. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Oh, okay, yeah. No, there's two weapons, yeah. Okay, there's... Yeah. Well, one's a sword and one's not a sword. Oh, I see, okay, yeah. We're looking at, like, the top of the... Oh, yeah. The part of the sword you grab? Help in me the, out. The, the illustration in the corner, the skull has two eye sockets, so I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, if you're looking at the book, there's a skull on the book, so this is probably a ritual. Yeah. Mm. A puzzle ritual, and we completed it. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like Come the... with us, chat. Oh, we summon some weird sailor from the past. I like that the, pi oh, the pile no of... Oh, uh... sailor. Uh, the just the like pile of um, puzzle pieces just already looks kind of like a complete city down there. Yeah, yeah. Next week on CTS, we're just gonna actually play SimCity. You joke, but there would be people who'd be into that. Oh yeah, oh, no. Yeah. I mean, it's a perfectly fine plan. I mean, I'm pretty. All sure my best we've... ideas start out as jokes. We've done the the we played like the new SimCity on stream quite a bit, and I know Kathleen. Kathleen's played the uh, City Skylines too. City Skylines, I think, is, like, the new good SimCity. Sweet. Well. At the very least, it's popular. But I know, I know, genre. yeah, some some people have played, like, the SimCity 5 or 6 or whatever, the newer one that people didn't like so much because it was small. 
Mm. It's just, uh, City Skylines is a little bit more road-oriented than, I would say, City. I mean, if we're being honest, that's really just the existence in cities. Like, it's all roads. Yeah, it's mm. it's tragic sometimes real, realizing how much our world is roads. Mm. What else would you travel on? Yeah, I know, exactly. I mean, we need them. We use them all the time. It's, yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, Hyperloop. Mm -hmm. There's you actually travel? I mean, there is neat stuff about how, like, you know, modern cities versus old cities, like cities that have been made, that, that were, uh, you know, primarily created um, since the advent of the automobile versus, like, some older, older, like, European cities that have really uh, ancient districts and stuff and how they're actually fundamentally sort of built differently because of the car has affected how people live so much. Yeah. Yeah, like, I guess, I guess my better answer there is I would love to live in a place that was, like, you know, a little pedestrian village where there's roads to access it, but not necessarily, like, roads all the way through it or roads all mm. over it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as somebody who doesn't drive, obviously, walkability yeah. is very yep. important to me. That's why I live downtown. But Yeah, yeah. same. Same! Same. Kinda. I mean, I can, I can still get to downtown. Just I have to walk to while. downtown. Yeah, me too. Yeah, no, you're closer to downtown than I am. Ho-ho! I guess I am now. Yeah. I used to be further away. Cause I know. I, I, would, be... I We used to see each other yeah. on the commute all the time. Yeah. I miss that. I kind of miss walking Aww. past that way and being like, oh, sometimes I run to you or Surge. Or Surge. Because yeah. anyone else who's kind of... Yeah. Surge and Joe. I mean, I still do when I go past coffee shops. It's like they spawn... <laughs> they spawn <laughs> Surge and Joe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the parsonage tends to spawn either me or Surge. More well, the parsonage, I'll, I'll see Graham and Kathleen at. Mm -hmm. That's oh, true yeah. still, too, yeah. I'm glad yeah, I can walk by there sometimes and just grab something. But, so but yeah, Heather, for whatever reason, our, our schedules used to just be like we would see each other probably like three or four days a week. Like in the same spot or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. And you're both like, it's my turn to be in that spot. <laughs> sometimes. No, I think I was always just like, it's weird that we see each other like four times a week in this same block at the same time as we do our commutes. But it's even more weird that like we're almost never on the same side of the street. Like it's random which side of the street <laughs> each of us are on. But we always seem to be on the opposite side of the street. But I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's an explanation. I mean, in my case, it was uh, which side of the street was more convenient to get to. And yeah. was there anyone on the other side I wanted to avoid? Yeah. So so me, every time, it was easy. It was just like, well, gotta avoid Nelly. <laughs> yeah. Let's get, out, let's get out of there. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, you weren't supposed to know. Exactly. Oh. Uh, oh, no, the secret is out. Uh, uh, everyone's on to me. That the water's going for a ride. The, uh, yeah, the, exactly. Where is it going? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Everywhere, there's water is all through the map. It's but... over here. Ooh, I found a fountain. Oh yeah, that goes right in the middle somewhere. A bridge. Come on, get there. I need to... This is the other puzzle I did. So Ghost control sounds controls. fun. What? You did another puzzle? You said you only did one. I did I two. You said two. I should have listened. I I did one. Yeah. We still haven't done the one I've done. I'm, uh -oh. I'm imagining like a, a cool puzzle game where as you put the puzzle pieces together it actually changes. Like the like you could put the puzzle pieces together in weird ways and it actually changes the picture that you're making. <laughs> oh, that yeah. sounds like hell. The anti puzzle. <laughs> sounds yeah. like a cool video game at the same time. Well there there's a, a game that I was playing around with on No on Nick on the like Xbox where, where it was sort of like that like you can you you could actually like 
pick up chunks of you could like zoom out to sort of a puzzle map view and like pick up chunks of land and move them around and then when you go back down into walking around the land has moved it was kind of a cool way of doing it oh uh, what was the uh name carto that? yeah carto, yeah. yeah oh yeah. that was kind of it was cool and then I, I i played it for a little bit and then i realized that it's like oh this is this is actually kind of a game for like small children babies <laughs> <laughs> it's that thing where you're like wow i'm doing really well this is great uh, yeah i'm this game is not getting harder i think this yeah. might be it's a not, game it's not <laughs> hitting that skill level that you're you're really looking yeah. for so what you're saying is you should lend me this game it, it's, it's, it's but it'll be like the thing is to the left you're like i can do that i know my directions <laughs> great <laughs> it looked really cute all right from what i've Uncle. seen of it it Uncle is neat, Paul, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna it's, let you know when my kids' birthdays are. It's uh... <laughs> yeah, that one was on my uh, radar as well, but didn't get around to trying it. So now I know it is perhaps below my skill level. Whoa! Uh, it's 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 one of those things where it's like I got a whole pile of games I'm already playing and then there's some new games I'm like I will check you out eventually and maybe I just never do. Yeah. And that one's kind of probably fallen into that list, unfortunately. I'm like, I could play another game or I could play more Stellaris. Mm. It's true. You can always play more Stellaris. Yeah. Yeah, there, I think there a lot of people have, have games like that where it's just like it's like I, you know, I go and play games. Uh, you know, I, I like I say, I'm playing Guacamole and and uh, various other games. But then, like, whenever I'm not like deliberately trying and playing another game, there's games you just kind of naturally go back to, and just mm -hmm. are always kind of. I just want to play something and not have to learn new mechanics. Right. You know? comfort food but games yeah I, i'm very guilty of that i mentioned earlier i play a lot of magic and it's just partly like i could just play a game or i could learn a new game that's on uh that's on mobile now isn't it uh just if you have a new android phone right now so i uh, okay. i have been shopping for phones i might cave and like <laughs> buy a new phone i actually had this conversation with my partner yesterday that was just like well, we have enough savings and you haven't gotten a new phone for a while that you could probably do it. And I just had to reply like, okay, I don't need to like dig into our, in, like, our retirement it's... fund or whatever. <laughs> to, I don't need to like crack open the kids' college money course... to get a phone to play Magic on. Yeah, it's like, is this phone just to play Magic on? This is the question. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I've played... Um... I've played Magic on some of the iOS apps they did, where you're you're mostly playing uh, single player AI stuff. Yeah. And I liked those well enough, and I'm like, I, I, it just to me, it's a very touchscreen kind of uh, kind of game. Hmm. Huh. I mean, presumably yeah. now that the Android version is out, the iOS version can't be too far behind. Yeah, they said this year. It seems like the you know the UI and the back end code is probably the difficult part. The integration between Android and, and iOS is not as time consuming. Yeah. I just personally find that I don't enjoy playing competitive games mm. with other people unless they're board games. Because those have a fairly quick turnaround. Unless you're Usually. stealing <laughs> puzzle pieces from somebody. Yeah, <laughs> turns out. Hey, people have snatched from my hand a couple times, too. Yeah, I think it's just because we can't see a lot yeah. of people's arrows, so it's just like, oh, this looks fun. I couldn't tell if it was a feature or a bug, but when we were making that Space Marine Lady, I, uh... I had a, a turn where I, I pulled a puzzle piece to like, you know, it's a red one and there's red on the left and right and I pull it off to the left and I was trying to fit it and it wasn't working and then suddenly it disappeared and it popped over on the right and it's like, okay, someone else was grabbing it at the same time. Yeah, so definitely a feature. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's just a feature. Huh. Uh, 
uh, rechargeable Frenchman uh, in the chat uh, is asking whether you, you, you and Cam are planning going back to super liminal, Corey. Nope. If people in the chat want to find out how that game ends, they have to do it themselves. Mm. <laughs> Just imagine me, very tiny, forever. <laughs> <laughs> Too tiny to get anywhere in the puzzle. <laughs> oh no. Despite there being a reset in the game, I won't use it. So it's stuck <laughs> forever. Yeah, I understand that. Do I live that tiny life? I mean, that's definitely why I haven't picked up that game, even though it looks neat. Really? Because you think you might get tiny? I I feel like I I might just it might boggle my mind to a mm. point where I don't want to do. Uh, there's very limited interactions. I really dig. I was actually like surprised that. that it let me have any fun. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Like I'm, a, I'm super duper like into you know Portal and uh, all those types of games. The, the uh, or um, is it Cube? Yeah, Cube, Cube Two, Hypercube, Cube Zero. Oh, oh, you just drop it. Whose turn is it? Whose turn is Heather? it? Heather, <laughs> take it, Heather. All right. Go for it, Heather. Whatever makes you all happy. Has anyone else noticed that, like, the mouse cursor is supposed to be a puzzle piece, but it just looks like a piece of pizza? I thought it was cheese. <laughs> or cheese. It looks like Swiss cheese, too. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was cheese. I don't Swiss know cheese I, on pizza. I don't think the cursor's rendering on screen, but it is a mouse pointer with a number next to it, and there's, a, like, a bite taken out of it. Yeah, I can say a or a saw. It is time. For us to take a break. Uh, all right, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Bye. Hey, everybody! We ate Nelson. He's gone forever now. Yeah. Uh. So I guess the three of us will have to continue on. Yeah. Now that we've that gained knowledge. his puzzle powers. Mm -hmm. See if you can spot the imposter by the end of the stream to win a prize. That prize being knowledge. Yeah. The greatest prize of all. Knowledge is power. Forbidden knowledge. The forbidden knowledge is the best knowledge to have. Bid on some knowledge today. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna ask chat uh, if there's any, like, Pop media stuff we never really talk about. Like, the chat knows I'll talk about, like, Tokusatsu. If they want to talk about, like, Shin Ultraman, I'm here for them. But what's something we don't really talk about? Uh. The chat has questions about. Alright, yeah. Let's let's get chat to, to determine our topics. That's a good yeah. idea. Chat, entertain us. Chat, help us stream better. <laughs> help us. <laughs> <laughs> Help us chat your all the hope. Tell us how to do this puzzle. Music nah. recommendations. My music recommendation is that you just buy the DVD for uh, We're Here by the Snarky Puppy and okay. just watch that on loop for the rest uh, of your life and you're pretty happy. Give well, me a sec. I need to look it up. Where is it? I have I have this open... It's like the most useless back seating you could ever do. Yeah. Get, move that piece there. No, not there. No, the wrong piece. No, no. Uh, right? Not that piece. Uh, move that piece there. Oh, what are you doing? Atarashi Gako no leaders. That's my music recommendation. Gako I don't know if the music's actually good. I like it, but uh, their videos are great. Really? Yes. I will send you some, Corey. I've been uh, just listening to YouTube compilations of City Pop. Been getting into that lately. <laughs> Ian's been uh, ranting about City Pop lately around the house uh, and how it's. It's kind of like music. 
No, it, his his take is that people are only calling it City Pop so they don't have to say they like J-Pop. But as as a Vaporwave fan, mm. I feel like City Pop's origins are a little different. Like it's it's a little more universal, a little more just ambient mix of like uh, electronic noise with. Like, I don't know, like a 70s aesthetic. Kind of funky, right? A little funk, little rock. Yeah. And of course, you can always rely on at least one instance of plastic love being put in the shuffle. Somewhere. It's inevitable. Oh, the Maricat, does, does Nelly like City Pop? Uh, I'm, I'm not really aware of Nelly's music tastes. Yeah. I think um, Wheeler went on Kathleen's music stream to talk about City Pop a little while ago. Okay. And about its origins and stuff. Ooh. If like only there were gods. A, he had a treatise about it. A treatise. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So always, always finding new ways to have things in common with Wheeler. Yeah. It's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay if he's the Fraser guy. Like, I don't need to live with the Fraser guy. Like, yeah. I mean, he is stepping on my toes a bit by also being gay, but I, I guess. Uh, I'll uh, Pardon you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize there were rules about how many gay people we were allowed and to also, have. And also, bi, so. Like, weird. Oh, are we geez. even. The only okay. gay in the, the village. What's the dealio? I was unaware, actually, about that, so. <laughs> well, you're both married, so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that allowed? Uh, in Canada, it is. Yeah. Chat, Yay. click. Please give me a different topic. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my friends anymore, but they're all weird. So, oh, since talking to uh, Lamb Mower after the Garage's concert at Desert Bus, I've been listening to a lot of Porcupine Tree, and uh, that's fun. You can listen to that, too. That's other music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to kill time until oh favorite tea favorite, favorite Sarah tea's good one. uh maybe a lady gray ooh there's a lady gray yeah uh lady gray's real good yeah, yeah. yeah. and I've had some like very powerful Russian Earl gray that's just like mm. Mm -hmm. I mean but I, I like I like a black tea I default to chai a lot because I I I enjoy that one but lady gray yeah. was is probably mm. when I'm like I I need a special tea now. Yeah, it's just a little bit fancy. Just a little bit. When you just want to be a little bit fancy. Yeah, and if you're unfamiliar, it's basically like uh, an Earl Grey, but with uh, a citrus flavor. Bergamot. But yeah. Yeah, I'm a fan of black tea with like some citrus aspect to it. As long as the tea is decaf, and I have found fruit teas are under overwhelming or not very good when mm. I've had them. Mm. There's a, uh, we have uh, very little of it left. I don't know if I can get it anymore, but it's like a strawberry cream rooibos, which is really delightful. Interesting. A lot of fruit teas like just fall into the like super artificial category, right? They just sort of- mm. They can. Maybe. Yeah, they can be. Depending on where you- Unless they're like a, a good quality one. Yeah. I just find that they taste more bitter, which is weird. It might be the contrast. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I've talked. To, I've talked about my uh, Nepal black tea from uh, David's tea before, but that's right. my, my favorite black tea, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think of like the tea drinkers. You're the the one I've seen attend David's teas the most. Like that's not like because I'm. Necessarily, that like I'm a super big fan of David's tea in particular. It's just mostly because they happen to be like near where I was. And they've walk got variety and stuff, and, right? Yeah, and they have a nice variety mm -hmm. and things. They have a lot of like, like silly teas that are not like 
you know, that have like, it's a Christmas tea with little bits of candy cane in it and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, or right. chocolate. I've, uh, my, one of my cousins gets the, uh, advent calendar every year. Mm. Oh, and nice. And so I've tried a lot of the little samples. I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan of, they, they keep trying to make, like, chocolate and tea a thing, and I'm, it, uh, It's weird. It's just, like, super watery hot chocolate, sort of, yeah. but not good. Yeah. I, I got, so I got, um, one time, it was because there was a bunch of it left after the season. There was a seasonal, like, they were doing a thing for spring or something, or, or summer that was, like, boardwalk stuff. And it had a, like, a sarsaparilla tea. Ooh. So, like, root beer. Yeah. Ian just got some uh, root beer bitters mm. that he's been mixing with his, his fizzy water and... See, uh, yeah. He, he's claimed to uh, have made a drink that tastes like a brownie. <laughs> it's a, not quite a brownie to me. It, maybe, like, a, a cinnamon sugar cookie, kind of, or, like, a ginger snap. But uh, I tried it with just rye, and it was like drinking cough syrup. Oof. And it's the first <laughs> time I've had that reaction, and I, I know that people outside of North America often feel like uh, root beer specifically is a medicinal flavor, like it tastes mm. like cough syrup. Yeah. Mm. But mm. Well, it's, what, what was fascinating about this is like you look at the ingredients, and it, they were all it was all like natural, like there wasn't any like root beer flavoring in it. They had all the there's like, you know, all the the weird combination of it's like it's there's like a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of liquid there's like a whole bunch of all this stuff that you put together that sort of ends up being the root beer flavor and to be honest they did a great job like it tasted a lot like root beer but then it was like okay but now it now i'm drinking hot flat root beer <laughs> like <laughs> like it was it was a very good representation of root beer but i realized i did not want a root beer tea that's not yeah, good. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You get used to flavors being either uh, uh, hot or cold, and then doing the opposite is just kind of a really yeah. weird experience. Although, a, shock. A, a hot lemon Coke. Mm -hmm. Putting a Coke in a microwave and then putting lemon juice in it is actually pretty tasty. It does weird things to your teeth, though. <laughs> um. <laughs> that seems bad. It's a weird. It's is this a, like, I guess it's, it's not adding like, lemon to Coke makes it like even more acidic. I guess. Yeah, but it, it it it's kind of like how the like tannins get left on your teeth, but it's different from like what teeth feel like after drinking soda. Like in a good way, or it's just different. Okay. <laughs> I can't say if it's good or bad. It's just different. <laughs> my yeah. My, it's, my brother actually gave me a one of the, like a, a tea box thing subscription thing. So I've been getting lots of little bits of tea from I think a place down in the states. But uh, there's quite interesting. You know, there'll be usually be like one green tea and one black tea, and then a couple of herbal teas. Uh, and uh, it's kind of fun to sort of get all different weird varieties to try out. Yeah. There they like, go. There we are. Okay. Uh, we got a question from Macrosian Tay earlier that was like, what's your first experience with improv? Here at loadingreadyrun.com. Performing it? Uh... Or? I, I don't... It's just an improv experience. Like, I don't have a... Uh, uh, I don't know. Background. Yeah, no, the theater camp would have been, like, the first time I was actually aware of improv. Theater camp. Yeah, it was, like, a week-long summer camp thing when I was 12. Did you have, like, horses that you had to take care of? Or was it all theater? <laughs> it was Did all people theater. have instruments? No, it was, it was all theater camp. It wasn't it wasn't Christian camp. That was a different thing. We didn't have horses. I either. only I only have Bible camp experience. You went to Bible camp? Did you go to the one out in Rycroft or No, Blueberry. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Blueberry Reserve. Or by the Blueberry River. Did they have good blueberries there? Although I also went to one in the States, which was very different. Oh, I bet.
Blueberry's north of Fort St. John. Like, nobody has to know. <laughs> Wait, that's actually a good point. Is the moon base still getting, like, Tokyo treat boxes that yes. are just piling up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Does Why is the bead sharing? Does Bree uh, bring he, them home? He, he, he's been sharing them with Graham. Oh. The I two see. of them have been splitting them. If you have uh, an issue with that, you can take it up with him. I see. I see. That means no, no, Kelby uh, for me. I I don't get any of the crunchy snacks. We don't have a TNT. This is my only way to get certain crunchy snacks. To take it up with him. Dear Beach. <laughs> Dear <laughs> Mr. So-called Beach. Yeah. Beach, if that is your real name. Mm. Oh, this it one. Unless it's chips, I don't personally really get the appeal of crunchy food. What about cheesies? No, not for what? me. What? Just like a tiny individual size I mean, bag of crusty hardness. I mean, not if you want a crusty hardness, personally. If you if you get the appeal of chips, the, the appeal of other crunchy foods is the, the same. It's just I think it's the shape. salt. Like uh, I think with the chips, it's the salt and the oil. So which what you about don't get with like cheeses. pretzels, or do you classify those as chips? Oh, when my mom was growing up, or, sorry, when I was growing up, my mom had a bag of pretzels that I would just steal from all the time. Uh, what's TNT? TNT is a chain of Asian food markets that I think is a corporation that's like Vietnamese owned, but you get a whole range of stuff. Like steamed pork buns and an aisle full of different seaweeds. Mm. Uh, I haven't had, I have not had dry roasted seaweed in a while. I right? Some of that. How many different oh. seaweeds are there? They're I just, bought different flavors. drinks with like barley seeds in them and mugwort and all manner of things. I had a can of soda that tasted like grass once. <laughs> this an experience in every visit to the store. Mm. <laughs> a positive experience? Yeah, we've got like Japanese grocery stores here, but it's not quite that. No, it's not they're, they're not they're like, not as imagine expensive. A, not a Costco. Something like a Costco, but... Oh, well, like that big, eh? It's big, and, but there's also, like, a... Like a cafeteria in it. It's like a Wajimaya in uh, Seattle. <laughs> like the downtown one that has food yeah. that you can just get and eat. Yeah, it's, we had one in Calgary, and they had one in Edmonton, too? Yeah. It's in West Ed. Actually, I think there's two TNTs in Edmonton. Yeah, I was gonna say, the one I knew about was not in West Ed. Can you snap pieces into place not connected to anything else? No. Yep. On you the can. edge. Oh, on oh, the edge, yes. You, you, you can. No, you can do it in the middle too, but it's a lot harder. If you just happen to luck out <laughs> and yeah. get the right spot. You do have to drop it in the right spot, yeah. I like the right, right spot, not the almost right spot. Not the spot. wrong, right spot. Do I'm, I really just want more counter space to like organize puzzle pieces. In. <laughs> That's why I don't do them as an adult. I don't have the space. Or you have it like in the middle of the floor, forever. Yeah. <laughs> I really liked doing the uh, the burger jigsaw at the office. Oh, that mm. was fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, we it just like in different the coffee table. Just different people would like come and do it. At, yeah. Yeah, it took a while, but we got there. Cause you know, it's it's often you just sit out and wait for stuff for a few minutes. And you're like, mm, do I make the bad decision of going on Twitter or do I work on this burger puzzle? Both. You can well, do sometimes both. sometimes you're you're caught up on your you bad decisions. You have two hands, Matt. Mm. Do I? Did something happen to you recently? I know I haven't seen you in a while, but last time I checked you had two. 
<laughs> I saw you yesterday, Matt. You had two. You didn't hear what, what happened on the way home, I guess. Yeah. Why are you talking about my secrets? I'm supposed to only have one. For tax reasons. Uh, Probably not. No. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. One, one hand is you're claiming as a dependent. Yeah. Ha! 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 Oh! Don't lie to your government, kids. It's not a good idea. I'm not going to tell chat what to do. Oh, right. So, improv experience. <laughs> Theater camp. Uh, right, yeah. I don't know what my first experience was. Maybe, like, grade eight being... Uh, we The drama class was supposed to do, like, commercials for something, and I was sick for a week, and so I joined a team, and the two other people that were on the team didn't show up, so I had, like, their script... Oh no! For like what their product was supposed to be, and that you were supposed to do like choreography, and then another person joined that didn't have a group. Uh, so yeah, that was my first improv experience. <laughs> it's the unintentional improv, eh? Yeah, and I remember the product to this day was called the Ruby Telemirror Pen. Wow! What? what? And that's a that's a name, all right. It's a name. And it's, it's in here because of the trauma of the experience. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, it was a bad time, and I had to learn these things oh. under pressure at school, grade 8, where everything matters a lot. Oh god, grade 8. Yeah. Uh. But to, like technically I did theater stuff up until that point. <laughs> and then no, no longer afterwards? Uh, yeah, because I moved cities. Oh, yeah. And then... Things got weird. Yeah, I think... I think drama is probably, like, drama class is probably the first time. Actually, in some similar circumstance, I remember we had to do a thing for drama where you had to, like, do a scene. Like, a, it was supposed to be, like, a... a not a mime, like like sort of a mime scene. Like you had to sort of come up with a, a scene that you know you would sort of do a bunch of miming stuff for. And so I kind of worked out the scene kind of roughly what I was going to do. And then I started it and I screwed up the miming. Like I basically I was supposed to like pick something up and I picked it up in an inappropriate way for that item. Like I sort of picked it up not how you would. How, how that thing would have been picked up. It was like a bag or something, and I picked it up with, like, two hands in kind of a uh, weird way. And and so I kind of made the snap decision to, like, okay, I picked this up wrong, and I'm kind of locked into this now, so this is no longer going to be what I thought it was, what I decided it was going to be for this scene. It's going to be this other thing, which means this is going to be an entirely different scene. And so I just started, <laughs> I just started like, making stuff up. <laughs> you just had to yes and yourself. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, I screwed up the beginning of this, and now I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm just, just gonna, gonna go with it. with it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I want to clarify that what happened after I moved was that I joined school late in the year, and then I didn't want to do any of the complicated stuff, so I did like French class and shop. Uh, <laughs> French shop. And then class. in high school, I like took leadership. So I got to run the audio system for lunchtime gym activities. <laughs> you had a leadership class? Yeah. It was like, oh, I took some blow-off class, like, leadership. <laughs> it's easy to lead teens, especially grade 10 or grade 9-year-olds. I mean, I think I took a leadership thing in college as because they had like an extra thing and really, uh, well, forty percent of my grade for one class was based on trying to do extra work outside of class and taking that workshop counted towards it. Ooh. Okay. So. It's not really fun to have a college class that requires 40% uh, of your grade 
to yeah. be excess extra outside of class work. Yeah, yeah that's a big ask. Uh, it, that seems like kind of a uh, uh, like the, the the teacher just being like 40% of this class I'm not going to teach. I, I had to prove it all too with like paperwork and Ooh, stuff in a binder. Yeah, my leadership class was more fun. I got to have a t-shirt with a nickname on the sleeve, so I had to come up with my own nickname. What nickname did you come up with? Cory Oreo. Ah, yes, okay, yeah. Cory Oreo? Yeah, one of my friends would yell that at me down the hallway. So I was like, that's a nickname if I ever heard one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're getting so many levels. Yeah. We're power gaming. We're on the grind. All right. Next map is up. Captain okay. Cloud asks favorite musical. We're going to go with Sondheim's Company. That's what we're all picking. Son okay. Wait, Sondheim's I've never seen that. Company. Oh, I, is the musical called Sondheim's Company? No, it's called Company, but it's by Stephen Sondheim. Oh, okay. I am not familiar with that musical. Yeah, that's why I said who made it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Disney's Aladdin. That's also my favorite musical. You already said your favorite musical, Shush. though. I'm a pretty big... I'm allowed to have, like, five. I'm, I'm a pretty... Because I just care yeah. that much. Pretty big fan of Les Miserables. Definitely. Hades Town. Hades Town would never be my favorite. Sorry, Skylar Ringtail. And sorry, everyone else who hasn't listened <laughs> to Hades Town. I have not. I listened to There's it. a song about a wall, so maybe don't. Is I don't it, know. Is it, is it related to. Is it a musical about the, the video game Hades? Yes, it is the oh, musical of Orpheus and Eurydice. And it's set in, like, a coal mining era town. I mean, it's, it's set in the underworld. entirely right? the same as the video game. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I heard it was good, but I'm not... I'm not, like, plugged into the musical scene. I mean, if I was gonna make a song that had to make spring come, I would do more than la 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 la, <laughs> which is entirely what that musical is about. Like, I mean, that that sounds inspiring. Spring, spring is a very easy to appease mm. season, and you don't you don't have to give it that much effort. It's it just was... gonna show up anyway. My my pet peeve in musicals is when they like have stuff where they like say like they they like say what's what's whatever plot point they're talking about and then they then then they also then sing it like they'll be like oh you're here oh that's great now we can go do this thing and then they sing a song about the person being there and now they can go do the thing instead of oh, like having yeah. the instead of having the song itself because be, the song is already yeah the song the thing. yeah like the song itself should be the thing where they're actually like revealing important stuff uh, Did, uh, not just like a reiteration of what you've already been told. Have Have any of you seen Galvant? Oh yeah. No. Now that's great. No. Yeah, <laughs> I liked that one a lot. Yeah, that was a neat show. Is that a whole Heard series? It's, it's it's a TV, a TV show, show that's a musical. Yeah, it's a musical TV through. show. Uh, and it probably doesn't surprise you that it was. I don't think actually that's successful because I don't think <laughs> musical TV shows have have ever actually been like. It's successful, but it was so good. Not, not generally, but yeah. <laughs> musical like episodes the, like uh, Buffy or Allie McBeal really take off, but yeah. like doing a whole series that's musical is It's hard. been tried many times, and it almost never works. But Galvent was super awesome. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Wait, Allie, Allie McBeal had a musical episode? Yeah. Oh. She has like a big hallucination with a song and dance number. It was... Yeah, it was on Netflix for a while. I don't know if it still is. Mm. Allie McBeal or Galavan? 
Gallivan. Uh, Gallivan. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know about Ally McBeal. I don't. I don't think Ally McBeal's on Netflix. I mean, Dodger Horrible, of course, is awesome. Mm. I appreciate that one. And the 2011 version of Company has Neil Patrick Harris as the lead. So if you want to watch that. Mm. It's a show from, like, the 70s. It's That's true. Uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is a show that I know they only... They did. It's a show a I know... A lot of songs. Yeah. It's a show I know only from, like, I've watched a ton of the songs on YouTube, but I've never actually seen the show. But I loved a lot of the songs. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, it worked out for Hamilton. Yeah. Being a musical or having musical Mo things most in people, your show? Most people do all the songs before they ever saw the musical. Mm. Yeah, well, that's the same for Town because that was 2019. And so 2020 would have been their, like, big year for audiences to come see them. Yeah. Really worked Brutal. out well. Yeah. It did not work out well. <laughs> my, uh, my, my brother is, and, and his wife are quite into musicals, and uh, they live in Boston, so they're quite close to, uh, you know, they, they get, they, Boston gets a lot of uh, sort of stuff before it goes to New York and things like that, and they also go to New York sometimes. But they, they had something like three or four you know, tickets for future things in 2020 that right. were Didn't. lost. Yeah. Didn't pay off. I only just recently started listening to a podcast about musicals. So that is a lot of my knowledge of them. Which one? The Lindsay Ellis one? Yeah. I haven't listened to that at all. How is um, it? I, I haven't seen Beetlejuice. If I haven't seen Beetlejuice, is it worth listening to this podcast? They liked that musical, apparently, from what they were saying. Like, it wasn't tens across the board, but there were definitely were some good things in it. I would like to see Beetlejuice. Sur surprisingly... I'll say his name three times. Uh, surprisingly, uh, Shrek the Musical... Actually, I saw actually, footage from that, and it's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I actually saw it. I, I saw it like they some. Uh, I saw it in town here, but very. It was in town? town. They did Shrek here in Victoria. <laughs> yeah. Cool. This huh. was not like this year, but this, no. was, this was a couple years ago. But yeah, they did. Apparently, there's an Alanis Morissette. Musical, Jagged Little Pill. I don't know what it would be about other than her. <laughs> Maybe it's just the album, like it's, it's kind of like, like a, a, a Mamma Mia. Yeah, jukebox musical. Maybe. Yeah. I was trying to think of a thing that isn't Mamma Mia because Mamma Mia isn't like play an album. Mm. It is Stella Five 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 Five. There we go. <laughs> Which is the Daft Punk album Discovery with animation by Leiji Matsumoto. Mm. Like, I admit Trek the Musical sounds bad. Sounds like a bad idea. But it's actually quite good. The music's the best part of the Shrek movies. It's, uh, it's on Netflix, actually. There, there's, like, a recorded, a, a, a film stage version of it. Okay. Um... Actually, speaking of the sort of jukebox musicals, there's uh, there's a fun one that's um, on, also on Netflix with the music of the Proclaimers called Sunshine on Leaf. Mm. It's quite fun if you like the Proclaimers music. There apparently also is a musical about American Idiot, the album. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of just indifferent, really. Or is it just yeah. a musical about an American idiot? No, about the album. <laughs> it, like, tells the story of the album. Yeah, there's... It's it's interesting, like, the yeah, the, the sort of jukebox thing where they try to, like, sort of weave the stories into a narrative. Can be weird, 
can, like, can work, but you see, not do, all narratives work for that. Some do. Do you see uh, across the universe? Right, I was trying to think of what what would have done it, but no, I haven't seen across the universe. I did see yesterday. Yesterday is that's super fun. That's not really musical, but it's just no, but it's related to the Beatles thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that movie, but um, but yeah, uh, across the universe is weird. It doesn't like it's you know it gets by a lot because the music is the Beatles, so it's awesome, but. The parts, the part that they've like added, I don't know if it actually improves it that much. <laughs> like the Taylor Swift song in Cats. They thought they were gonna have a hit with that. That's so generally far. why they make things. Yeah. Well, the extra song they added to Late Miz got good traction, so mm. I can, like, it's it's traditional to add an individual song for getting an original score nomination. Yeah. But... I, like, I'm a big fan of Les Mis, and I couldn't tell you what the original song that they added. In, in yeah. the sense that, like, I have no memory of it. It was extremely but for forgettable. Cats 2019, the song Beautiful Ghosts by Taylor Swift that they added on, that they attached to memory, uh, was not a good addition. <laughs> mm. I mean, I feel like it kind of flew under the radar in terms of everything else that was weird in that movie. <laughs> well, everyone was just talking about Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. Yeah, everyone was talking about Sonic the Hedgehog the movie, which was like, not bad. I would totally watch a sequel with just Robotnik stuck on a mushroom planet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're doing, a, they're doing a new animation. They're calling it Sonic Prime. We found Prime Sonic? I mean, Finally? I really need King Acorn corrupted by chaos energy, but whatever they do is probably whatever. I don't know. I, we, I don't know if they're into, like, the deep Sonic lore. We need a jukebox musical of Sonic. It's called Sonic Underground. <gasps> but, like, on, the on live stage. kill my mom. <laughs> <laughs> like the... Hear yeah. the voice of her in my mind. <laughs> the Sonic movie was the the like recent Sonic movie, like I feel like it was basically as good as it had any right to be. <laughs> like it's 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 like yeah, that's actually it was actually like fine. Yeah. Which All right, this is the last puzzle. We've gotten to the end of puzzles? We've gotten to the end of puzzles. No more puzzles remain after this one. I Control definitely your didn't ghosts, skip, sir. skip some of the puzzles that were available. Ghost Control Incorporated. We don't bust the ghosts. We just control I mean, them. Usually ghosts are incorporeal. How are they incorporated? Hmm. Uh, uh, it's a business decision. To, to incorporate. It's just a legal definition. It has nothing to do with reality. Also, my very off-tune Sonic Underground theme song was also <laughs> half of a joke towards Kill a Kill. Like, I don't... Their mom didn't die in Sonic Underground. I don't want any of the Sonic Underground stands coming at me. It's true. They come at you really did fast. not die. Yeah. They even find her once or twice. Yeah. Do they? Mm-hmm. I like that, that cartoon I like, was a bit before my time. I I like that Sonic can have like as much or as little mythology as you want. Like it's not true. But there's so much okay. there's like all this deep Sonic mythology that is sometimes talked about and then there's also like goofy other stuff. Okay, Fart Joke kind of Sonic together. should just go in, a, in and die in a fire. Best Sonic is Sad AM Sonic. Oh. Sonic Underground is not great, but it's fine. And, and sometimes that's all and you need. the one where, where he goes into medieval times and fights the Black Knight. And the one where he falls in love with the human woman. I think you're thinking of the video games. Those are video yeah, games, yeah. That's all canonical. To the video games, at least. 
No, Archie Comics only. Yep. Archie Comic Universe only. Wait, did Sonic in the Archie Universe? No, Archie no, Comics made the best Archie run Comics. of Sonic. Oh. Like, the does service. Sonic Sonic live in books. Riverdale? This is blowing no. my mind. I haven't I haven't seen the new Riverdale episodes. So I don't know. Yeah, it's like Archie's weird mysteries, but Sonic, you know. Archie versus the Punisher, but Sonic. <laughs> Archie versus the Punisher. And Knuckles. Yeah, and Shadow the Hedgehog, who has a gun. But Yes, Shadow's just from the video games. I. So I is it? A, that. But but like, is Sonic actually at the point now where the video games, like the, the where the the cartoons, actually have more canonical veracity than the video games? I don't think they're that concerned. Uh, about no, it. no, no. Satyam has has a, a storyline and a bunch of stuff that pulls from the comics. Yeah. Um, the the one I refer to as the fart joke one came after, and it's just a bunch of uh, it's like a fifteen minute two split thing with uh, two robots in it, a lot of fart jokes because their target audience was kids, and that's fine. Yeah. but it wasn't what I wanted as a kid even. <laughs> but yeah, thinking about like Sonic Boom and the newer Sonics, I think you might be right that maybe like the cartoons have more canonical. Hmm. Impact, Sonic Boom, but is like kind the Archie of... comic Sonic is still the most lore deep that I know yeah. of. Yeah, Sonic Boom is it was really kind of boring, but it had really weird jokes about like the post office that were kind of <laughs> neat. Like there was just like this weird thing where I'm like, there's some interesting stuff here, but it's incredibly boring to watch. Wow. Like, they knew how to do individual jokes, but not, like, storylines. When you watch Dr. Robotnik have to go to the post office because they keep dropping off a delivery slip at his his place that wow. he's not there for, but when he's there, they're like, no, your package is out for delivery. It's kind of funny. It's just not <laughs> I, yeah. really amazing. I feel kind of uncomfortable being, like, sympathetic to Dr. Robotnik. I don't know. Yeah. Like, oh, I can Dr. relate Robotnik, to this I can, man. I can relate to you so much. Yeah. I mean, he is like usually the only human present. So. Does that make him relatable, or is that just an easy indicator that he's the monster? <laughs> uh, I think the second one. This one, this puzzle has been coming together very quickly, relatively. Well, good, because we have three minutes left. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I haven't really watched all of Sonic X yet, but that one's like, that's more of a weird isekai. Yeah, it is. To my knowledge, I didn't watch very much of it either. And it's definitely focusing on, uh, wouldn't it be cool if Sonic had friends who were kids? No. Wouldn't it be cool if you could personally be the friend of Sonic? Yeah, essentially, that's Transformers. Kind of Sonic yeah. in disguise. I feel like that's a, that is a very like '80s thing. Like I remember, like the original like Transformers. It's like you always had there always had to be like some kid. Yeah. That hangs out with the big robots or the superheroes or whatever. Even though it's like the threat, the. The situations are really bad and dangerous. Yeah, uh, it's but, very you know, the kid, the kid needs to be there. We love children in peril. Can't get enough of it. It's like how '80s movies always had to have like, uh, like fantasy things, or or properties would always be like a person from the present day gets sucked into that thing. Instead mm -hmm. of just being able to, like, show it as it is. I, you know, some lessons can only be learned if you're sucked into the past. It's true. How to believe in yourself, or whatever. <laughs> is that why 
When I go to bed, I keep remembering mistakes I've done in the past. Is it supposed to no. teach me something? No, that's, 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 that's a, a different thing. Um, <laughs> you have to actually go into the past. Your brain yeah. telling you about the past, not the same thing. Well, yeah, then what use just, is it's it? It's just called remembering. Yeah. <laughs> the past is like that for everyone. Kaboom! Woo. You uh, ghost hunter! Level up. Control those ghosts. We did it! We did all of the puzzles. Every we single one. Every it. single puzzle. Well, that was fun. It Good was. job, team. Uh, I don't know if we'll uh, do more uh, Jigsaw puzzle streams, but if you enjoyed this, let us know, and that uh, might encourage us to do do more. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, it's fun to just kind of have an excuse to chill and talk about stuff while we play a game. Yeah. We love chilling and talking. Uh, all right. Let's uh, welcome all you awesome people who subscribed during the stream. Starting with Raid 7. 31 months. I don't I'm invisible, so I don't know which who goes after you, you me. Can, I'll I'll go next <laughs> and you you come yeah. in after Corey. You just have to How about we do that? Okay. Advance the I have no thingy. body. I, I can't, I don't, okay, there we go. Meeps a lot for 58 months, welcome back. Is that? That's not just me, right? That's not me. What? Is that me? Did that stop when I did- Chat's getting it too. Ah! Getting, getting what? You it's can't really hear it? It's a pitched noise. Is it not coming, is it coming, for, is it you? Uh... Can you? Oh, it went away. There we go. It's me. No, it's Matt. <laughs> it's Matt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, it hurts Matt. a lot. Yeah, it's um I thought I had tetanus for tetanus. Tetanus, I don't know. Like lockjaw. Tin something. My brain was dying. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Yeah, okay, good. For 89 months. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice. Electric Claire for 51 <laughs> months. Uh, Fear and Sarwin for 20 months. Gas and PL for 66 months. <laughs> Lord. Byron. 57? 47. Uh-huh, uh-huh. For three... Three words. Three words. Four. Six months. Four six, letters. Five. Five sounds. Six. Okay. Time. <laughs> Dented Pockets has been here for 51 months. Snack back for 31 months. Helen for 15 months. <laughs> Shush. Dingo. Shush, Dingo. Uh, uh, oh, oh, lunging, lunging. Fox. Uh, deer. Goat, goat, hush, shush, goat. Close enough. <laughs> Go, Decky. Now for 79 months. Dr. Price for 51 months. Jedi Masters for 30 months. Shikassi. Shikassi. Airbending. Pat Bear, 13 months. Thank nice. you. That's like one year. I know that one. Explode. 14 months. 
silent optimist. This might have been better for the next person after me, but for 20 months. I notice how Matt's like uh, sound activation thing is just on all the time now too. <laughs> <laughs> Wish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For, for, 42. Hashtag. Sorry. Yeah, hashtag. <laughs> four Zeds. We don't know. We don't know. Dark yeah, Morph Horde possible. here for 82 months. Thank you. It's a whoosh chicken. <laughs> Uh, Augier 300 for 65 months. Bambra for 48 months. <laughs> <laughs> Tr truly is silent. That guy who left. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, him. Shattered Shamrock, 34 months. It's almost three years. Star Freak. Three fifty nine for twenty three months. Chigal one thousand fourteen for thirty six months. <laughs> a, a thousand kens. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> for ni nineteen, nineteen months. <laughs> Death scythe forty two months. Mudduncan for <laughs> Mudduncan 1976 22 months <laughs> The Borzoi for 44 months Welcome back <laughs> yeah. Chicken 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 T-Rex chicken You Go Big. chicken Big chicken Matt, You're... chicken beside chicken. <laughs> chicken upon chicken. <laughs> Matt chicken. 58 months. <laughs> Armadillo AL, 50 months, thank you. Sapphire, 282. Thank you very much. Arkillid, for 80 months, welcome back. <laughs> we'll never know. Oh wait, Matt, this 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 next one's for you. Here you go. <laughs> no! Oh, thank you for subscribing, that sound. ASL <laughs> The America. Uh, 10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-10-
adding I extra. I get to do the reveal. <laughs> adding extra pieces to his uh, his wheel. Nice. Uh, and then on Friday, Checkpoint Plus, where uh, myself and BJ and Heather are going to talk about video game news. And then uh, we're going to be doing some Commander, in this case, Kaldheim Commander, on Friday Night Paper Fight. And on Saturday, uh, James is going to continue what I'm assuming has been an extremely successful uh, run. I mean, on you'd think he would be Kaldheim. out already if he had succeeded. Has, has he escaped from Tarkov already? He might just be in the planning stages right now. Mm. It's like the Great Escape. He's got to like dig the hole, dig the tunnel under the map and all that stuff. Takes a little while. That's why he's been practicing so much with Minecraft. And then on uh, Sunday, it's gonna be more Tycho, more, more RPG Tycho drumming. Yep. Which seems where? No, we just finished Egypt, so maybe we'll go to the future this week. All right, Egypt is done. We got Cleopatra as a friend. <laughs> Sounds like you're playing Where in Time as Tycho, pretty much. Uh, and then on Monday, we have the beginning of a new campaign, a new Aliens campaign, Alien campaign, with uh, that Cam is running it's called Alien First Law, and I yes. believe this will be a uh, session zero kind of thing where the characters yes. will actually be making their characters. So that should be super neat. Everybody who uh, enjoyed the Alien Heat Death campaign, uh, this is different characters, but uh, obviously Cam is uh, going to be running it, and I believe some of the uh, players will be the same as well. So, so yes. Yes. Only the ones it's who live. survived. Lark is fine. It will be live. Yes. So something's going to happen. <laughs> All right. Talk to all y'all later. Bye. Bye.